Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Spyro the Dragon, a Hero's Tale playthrough uh, on my birthday. This, this was not planned. It just so happens that one of my stream days landed on my birthday. And uh, if, if I was intelligent, I would have planned something special <laughs> for this day, but I did not for I am a fool. I did have time to put a party hat on my Sylveon at least, because funny aha. Because why not? <laughs> it's not even a part of the PNG tuber. I just, like, made it so that it looked like it fit in and placed it over the model, because uh, uh, th that's easier than exporting each, like, uh, image individually, uh, and then plugging it into the program. Uh, work smarter, not harder. But today, I figured, since we are nearing the end, apparently, it seems, and we should have everything, that we are going to uh, at least kind of wander around the places to try and find the missing eggs and gem shards. If worse comes to worse, I can always, like, look up a guide, but even that's going to be difficult. But uh, I will just uh, give it a shot. Go about and do things. I believe that's, like, the 90 gem thing. I forget. I forget exactly which one's which. But we definitely, like, I know Cloudy Domain, where the last gem shard is there. So we'll probably head there first, which is, luckily, I think, just Lost Cities. And then we can just teleport. I do like the teleport system. It makes it very nice. But yeah, there's just various places that we need to triple check around. We have infinite lives, so it shouldn't be terrible to do everything. And plus, we can try Icy Breath on things. Because I don't think we've got a chance to try and kill things with Icy Breath. Ah, there you are. My favorite wallet. All right, let's go to Cloudy Domain first, which I think, I don't even know which, I think Tallest Tower is quicker to get there, maybe? I hate, like, maneuvering through it. <laughs> from Twitch chat to happy birthday, thank you very much. <laughs> and from YouTube chat, to, well, like, Merry Christmas to you then. Which is amusing. All right, now we just gotta find our way to the place that has the diddly D. And maneuver through this hellscape. Well, let's see how uh, Ice Breath does. Uh, okay. That works on you? Okay, Ice Breath is OP, I love it. Ice Breath is amazing. Because I think it's over there that does it. But huzzah for ice breath. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong one. That's the the ball roller. Darn it. Maybe I can fly over here. Because I forget exactly where it is. I just remember that it's vaguely over here. Aha! Vague memories have worked for me! Now Gib. Oh, I thought that was a hole. Aha! <laughs> 69. Nice. Now we are done with Cloudy Domain. We just need to make it to a teleporter. And from there, I guess we'll go to Sunken Ruins and do a run-through looking for two eggs. Which I guess, actually, if I looked up a guide, it wouldn't be terrible. Because I was just like, what am I missing? I can just go through the segments and be like, well, I don't remember that, and <laughs> hopefully do that. Unless my memory is just terrible. Granted, most everywhere else should be much better than the Cloudy Domain. And, uh, and again, I have to say, still insanely weird that they de-Britishified 
money bags. It's like kind of like a big why. Why would you do that? Hmm, that almost feels like a thing I should be able to do. Either you're missing chests or they're just hidden in the weirdest places. True. All right, that's the exit. <laughs> hello, hello to YouTube chat. It is my birthday accidentally, and now I am doing some quick cleanup of eggs and gems to try and, like, gather things. Because why not? There's just various minor misses. I could see there being a missing egg down here that I missed. Maybe. Do I need to hit the, the shell? No. Hmm. <laughs> Reminder to all gamers on here. April 8th, the 3DS servers will be shut down. Yep, Pokemon Bank will stay up, but they have not disclosed for how long. Indeed. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's an egg down here. At least none that I can see. Could always be wrong, but who knows. There is much place to explore. I definitely, like, did the air puzzle in here that went up. Just want to triple check everything. Hate you, Mr. Long Range. <laughs> there might be a chest in the water, just not that water. Not as hidden. But yeah. Here... I've done this, diddly D. You get in there, you go about, you head up, but I might as well do it again. And I guess when you re enter the place, it has it stay stuck and not going in the loop. Which is a funny thing, because when it first activates, it starts flipping. Then again, I think I went into it and didn't know what to expect and flew off before the second one activated, so it's entirely possible I was the reason that it went wibbly-wobbly. Uh, yep, that's an empty chest. And is there anything else? We'll quickly check, like, the perimeter. Just in case. Again, doubtful, but you can never know. Hmm. Quick check of the map. Gotta continue. Sue again. Just gonna quickly check about this room. Now there might be, a, again, like, an egg that I missed down here, maybe. Ooh, did I check out over here? It's also hard to tell overall because... Since I've already went about gathering some things, some things will already be collected. So a second run through of a place I've been to a long time ago might make it be like, hmm, there feels like there should be something here. And the answer is, well, there was. I've already grabbed it. I don't think there seems to be anything here. Weird Puffer Man. Unless I'm supposed to be able to kill the Puffer Man. Then again, I don't think there's ever been a thing where like, oh, you have to kill him to, to get the thing. Because 
because I did think that it was like, hmm, maybe if I bust down the cracks, but there are cracks everywhere. And you can never tell how cheeky a developer is feeling. Sometimes they might go, and then we're gonna put something in a weird freaking place. Oh, okay, apparently... Hmm, I guess it doesn't work on you for some reason. Very weird. A very weird thing. My ultimate enemy, Krebs. <laughs> Enter the Dragonfly remake win. Oddly enough, that would probably... The thing is, is that a lot of the ideas they wanted to do for Enter the Dragonfly and got shot down apparently were, like, eventually came to be used for this game in some degree. Yeah, we definitely went through everything here. Unless there's... Oh, that could be it. It could be hidden eggs in the evil and evil death zone. Well, let's see. If I was an evil bastarding dev... Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. And instant death. But at least we know that there's nothing down there. <laughs> so ice isn't OP. Yep. <laughs> Today's your birthday, Neon, indeed! Just so happens that my birthday landed on one of my stream days. <laughs> the first year that I start actually having proper stream days. And so I figured, in celebration, I shall put a small little hat on my Sylveon, because why not? Just making sure there's nothing else in there. We'll do a quick dive down again. Not try to finish it, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's... anything down there to worry about. Got to be careful. Hmm. Oh yeah, here's at least one. Ah, uh, that's why I need invincibility. Because these things would uh, hurt me otherwise. I guess. Oh, uh, again, right one. <laughs> and gems, the things we need the most in the world. <laughs> Happy birthday, Neon. Thank you very much. Get out of here. How dare that hit me? He was withdrawing his weapon. Utter bastarding. Alright, so... Only one egg left in the sunken ruins. Just gotta find it somewhere. I guess when we head to, like, get to a... Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. There's no way they put an egg in there right next to another egg, right? But you never know. This doesn't feel like they do it, but at the same time, it's platforming enough that I had to try. It's, it's weird because, like, early on, there were walls that we could bust down left, right, and center a lot of the time. 
Yeah, we can jump onto this one for some reason. <laughs> Neon, do you want to have an NPC in my Minecraft world designated to you? Yeah, sure, why not? And again, I mixed up the run and flame buttons. Why did they change it? Oh, that! Okay, that's actually kind of cool. There's no collision on the inside because they knew somebody would do that. Not my fault. That's the perfect place to put an egg if you're a bastard. Again, the hard part overall is I don't know where, like, all the normal stuff was placed, so I don't know. Then again, this is why we're designating, like, the portion to going back through levels. Then again, I should have pro- did, did I miss a, a basket this entire time? Weird. Then again, gyms don't really matter, but hey. <laughs> Welcome to Sparrow Hero's Tale. Uh, where the bosses aren't, uh, telegraphed and the, uh, the gyms don't matter. And, like, n neither do these projectiles, it seems. Just quickly glancing about to see if there's anything funky about anywhere else. We're gonna make it seem like that's a big ol' difficult thing, when in actuality it isn't. Hmm, makes me wonder if there's, like, uh... Because maybe... Is there... No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. I was half thinking maybe there's a place to, like, glide to down there. <laughs> Neon, explain why you show a Dragon PNG version of yourself in the thumbnails, but uh, don't decide to use it in the Spyro streams, because... It isn't just like, oh, I make a single PNG and that's a PNG tuber. A lot kind of goes into it. Because, like, uh... Because that was just uh, me thinking, hmm, I'm going to make a, a dragon self-image. Because why not? It's for the, the thumbnail. But actually making it into a PNG tuber would mean, like, making... A, well, I guess I could have turned it into a PNG tuber, but that'd still require me making, like, a... An open mouth version, different expressions on it. And uh, would complicate the. Like, uh. What is it called? The coloring process a bit. Entirely possible I could have done it. But it's funny enough, I only just finished the. Sylveon. One. Before I started the Spyrothon. Which is why I mildly joked. Well, then again, my brain also was saying, like, hmm, maybe I should save off the Legend of Spyro and make a proper Dragon PNG 2.1. There's something to think about. It's just lots going on in brain, and then difficult to get brain to work with the hands to make things properly because brain is evil bastard. Hmm, because I remember this place being a little, like, uh, finicky. Why are the poles just so glitchy? The poles just do not want to work. Guess we'll invincibility our way through. And now down here is where a potential egg could be hidden. Oh, that's a wall. For some reason. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Well, then again, would have helped me there. Hmm. At the same time, I'm starting to think that maybe they wouldn't put an egg in the death zone because there isn't a save right before the death zone. That's a speedy, speedy, get through quick thing that I'm overcomplicating because I'm thinking, hmm, maybe they did put a an egg down there 
for difficulty reasons. I'm beginning to wonder if those even can hurt me. Well, I even have an elevator. I guess if you want to backtrack, but still. Really, if I was smart, I would have, like, uh, looked through the footage. Like, the only way that an egg would be in the death area is if it was, like, kind of obvious and off to the side so you could make a quick detour. And go like, ah. Like, it would have to be obvious enough to see so that the player would go, oh, no. An egg in the death zone. However will I do this? I'm fairly certain we gathered up everything that was treasure up here, but... Also, you know, just doing that, I realized why the poles can be kind of funky to use. And it's because... Like, the angle of the camera makes it so that holding the direction that you want to go, like, moves Spyro inherently to one side. I like the Sylveon OC, though. Thank you very much. I don't even know why I made the Sylveon Sona. It just randomly came to me and was just like, I like Sylveon. Why not make a Pokey Sona? Cringe is dead. Let us have fun with life. And then it's like, hmm, but how will I make it myself? How about we make it slightly edgy? Alright, this area is clear, as far as I can tell. So, roughly, only a third of the dungeon left, as far as I can tell. And if we can't find it on this run, I will look up a guide of like, hey, where are the individual collectibles? I guess while we're here, we might as well buy the extra health. Hmm, I don't think that would be here. I think I pretty solidly es excavated this place. But at the same time... Game, I'm hitting it. Or do you not want... There, okay, I had to jump. The auto-lock was not working well. fairly certain that I, like, got everything from this place. But I might as well play it safe and look around. <laughs> Going through the NPC options, I have given you a white-haired one. Yeah, that's fitting. I'm fairly certain that that's an opened treasure chest. I wish that the lid was fully off and not just cracked open. Because sometimes it makes me wonder. But I'm fairly certain that that is indeed... Completely done. The, en the enemy is constantly preempting my attacks. is still annoying. Quickly just freeze you so I can run by. Oh, elevator, that's why. Makes sense.
Like, technically, there's stuff up there, but, like, that just seems to be, like, decoration, not an actual place you could go, it doesn't feel like. But at the same time, why put platforms up there at all? Why not just have it... Why get, get rid of the... Well, I guess they wanted to put the, the pillars in. Hmm. And we've gone through, but missed it, unless it's, like, hidden back here for some reason. Which would be a tricksy place to hide an egg at the back of the elevator. For a moment, I forgot that it's not activated by touch. Hmm. So just look up where the dragon eggs are. Let's see. And see, sunken ruins. Hmm. Inside a locked chest near some laser shooting fish statues, says that one. Um, and considering that I've forgotten exactly where. All the ones that I already gotten were. My favorite one. I believe that's closer to the laser shooters. Because the only laser shooter statues I know of were those ones. I could have sworn that I looked around them. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Today has been a very nice day. So far. I just hope that the uh, potential final boss isn't a big old jerk to me. Alright, the guide said that there should be an egg near these laser shooting statues. Then again, I could have already grabbed it. Could have already grabbed it, so. N no cake? Not actually a cake person, but I did get some ice cream. Like, cake is a nice thing. Well, then I guess that would be the chest that we've already grabbed. Pretty obvious. Hmm. So, let's go through it again. Alright, because in Sunken Ruins, one is inside the lock chest in the first underwater set. In the first underwater section. I, of course, I should have just read that one. I'm a fool. I am a fool! But I could have sworn that I looked over that entire place. Or maybe it just meant nearby the first underwater section? Well, check out the underwater section. Uh, out of curiosity, you did finish the Spark minigame, correct? Uh, yeah, I should have. Besides, like, uh... I'm fairly certain that I've done all of the mini games twice that we've uh, come across, and even then, like uh, t the dragon egg is the first one you've given. <laughs> it says after the underwater segment. Man, I just can't read today, can I? Yeah, after the first underwater segment. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, because there's the complete the sparks challenge at the top of set of four thermals in the room of Dark Jim 18. What are four thermals? Well, might as well. Because it's like after the first underwater section. Like the first bat. Because we're putting the first thing. Is after the first underwater segment, which, yeah, we got that one. It was being guarded by a guy whom we killed. Because if we turn around, 
There it is. Ah, the four set of thermals. Yeah. The four thermal, like, uh, bob -da buzz Yeah, that we fly up. So the only one that could be is between the hot pipe and laser shooting fish, which is in a locked chest in the same area as the 19th dark gym. Yeah, because uh, this is the four thermals room. We're just just like the the wind that helps you glide. I understand it's probably what their official names, thermal geysers or whatever. Just feels weird. Let's see. Quickly going over it again. Inside a locked chest after the first underwater section. Got. At the top of the set of four thermals. Got. Complete Sparks' challenge. Got. Inside a locked chest near some laser shooting statues. Got. Uh, then in a locked chest in the same area as Dark Gym 19, which is before the hot pipes. Which I don't know if I can collaborate. And we shall use the teleporter, go to the fish shooting statues again, go past them. And if we hit the red hot pipes, we know that we went too far. <laughs> Which was Dark Night uh, Dark Gym 19? I have no idea. <laughs> A treat of some kind to celebrate. Doesn't have to be cake. Indeed. Just a delicious little treat. To make the day all the most special. Alright, so there are the pipes. We need to backtrack. And it should be in a big room then. Because I think... Because I forget if there was a... Thing or not. I don't know. Alright, then we're here again. Yeah. So... After the lasers, before the hot pipes. Really? I probably should have just been using this guide the entire time. Damn it, we're at the four thermals again. How'd that happen? What? I'm a. Where did, oh, because we probably went underneath the laser shooting statues. I'm. Uh, my brain is melting, and I'm not even doing something that's all that difficult. I think I got turned around, too. I'm a big old fool. Because for some reason, this feels like it would be a room that had, like, the, the gems. Or maybe it's not in order. Or maybe it's going by a weird order. So I don't know. Yeah, because those are the red-hot Babadabas. Maybe I should look at a different guide. I'll keep this one up just in case. I am a fool. Here I thought that it would be nice and easy. Nope, that other guy just basically has the same thing. 
Hmm, looking at another guide, it, it says, in a chest on a ledge in one of the two rooms connected by acid. Hmm. Because there's one before this, like directly before this. We'll quickly check that out. Again. In a chest on a ledge. Doesn't feel like this uh, has a ledge for it to be on. In the rooms with acid. No, too small to be it, I think, so we'll go forward. Still weird that the, apparently the rooms, <laughs> the guides, didn't really line up everything. Yeah, because the fish shooting statues are after the hot pipes. How dare they? Your list should be in chronological order, you jerks. They're probably by like how they appear in the system or something, which renders them useless to me in some degrees. all the way down. Gotta find the acid room. But I could have sworn that we already did like all of these. Maybe it's one that I thought that I couldn't get to. And it's like one of the rooms. Maybe I can actually make it over here. Wait, no. Wait, yeah, because I think I've already done all these. All these should be done. Then what the hell? Dang it. So it can't be this one because I got all the things on the ledges. I have to go through the... forgot, I have to go through the acid to actually go anywhere. At least on this side. Because we thoroughly checked out this place. We checked out all of that. We read, we went that way. We'll quickly check again, but I'm fairly certain it should be all done. Because if it's on a ledge, unless it's like hidden up here and there's a magical ledge. Yeah, because if it's this one, we already got it. These guides are unhelpful. Hmm, do you want to... Base in a mountain or out in open base? I forget if I read that again. My brain is mush, but either or. Hmm. Yeah. Set of hot pipes. Done. In locked chest in the same area as Dark Gym 19 is the only one I can think of. Hmm. No, it can't be, because that was like the one that we got by, uh... Da 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 da. Oh, dang it, I have to go for the, the acid again. Because that one was the simple, like, unless I'm super dumb and I, like, got distracted by killing the guy. Because it was a guy guarding a chest, we kill him, we open it. Could be that maybe that was before we got the, like, uh, the key ring. So maybe we killed the guy. Grabbed the key ring, meant to go back, got distracted, and didn't open, or like a. Or at the. 
I'm not get the keyring, but got like a a bubble ball. But that is entirely possible, the thing. But at the same time, unlikely. But at the same, same time, not impossible. Ah, it's opened. Then what the hell? Because wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. And six. We've only gotten five. So, one at the beginning, definitely got. At the top of a set of four thermals, fairly certain we got that. But let me check that, like, uh, chest again. At least I think it's chest. We'll check this again just to rule it out. And this is how we'll handle the, like, collectibles going forward. I'm gonna bring up these guides and kind of follow them this way. Of course I did the Sparks minigame because this is specifically the one that I noted being, hmm. hmm. The first one was much harder than the second one to get the Light Gym. Where the Light Gym one, for some reason, was much easier to me than the Egg one. Oh yeah. We'll, do we'll double check that to see, like, oh, would you like to just play for f fun? Inside a lock chest near the laser shooters, we got that. You, I guess maybe it has to be the Sparks one, but it can't be the Sparks one because we have all the light gems. That's the weird thing. We have all the light gems, so it can't be the minigame. So what the hell? Like, did I actually... <laughs> now my brain is trying to gaslight me. Did I actually get the dragon egg at the... Well, no, it had to have gotten the, the dragon egg at the top of the uh, hot pipes because it's five out of six, and that would have been... Ba-ba-ba. So, yeah, this is weird. Yep. Got Already got everything. We'll double check the pipes, but fairly certain we grabbed it. Unless I've just... Damn it, me. Unless I am a super fool. I just gaslighted myself into thinking I did the thing. No, because it was over here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe if I go to images. Maybe egg map. Aha! Maybe this. All right, maps for every single dark gem, light gem, and dragon egg. There we go. Ah, it's even numbered too. So thirty-five, uh, thirty-six. Yeah, it should be in the. Hmm. Yeah, because 32nd, we got that. 33, we got you. Sparks, 78. And yeah, we got you. So, 35 near the laser shooting fishes, got you. 36. Yeah, because Dark Gem 19, like, I have the map here. Hmm. 
Okay, because, yeah, the egg by after the f first water segment got you. The thermal vent got you. Sparks got you. Fish got you. Pipes got you. One, two, three, four, five. Blah, blah, blah. One, two, three, four, five. So it has to be that one. It has to be... All right, now that I have the... It has to be uh, in the first segment down there, but it can't be because we, we did it. Everything is going mad. Did it... Did, <laughs> did the game bug? Let me see. I wish that I could, like, uh... I wish that I could, like, uh... I don't know. Well, we have 55. Wait a minute. We have 55. Uh, ba ba ba. Hmm. But I don't think that helps. No, I don't think that would help. I wish that I could, like, actually see the egg number. Hmm. Because it says five of six. This guide has one, two, three, four, five, six. Here. The map... Because we got the one after the first water segment. We got the one in the thermal room. We beat Sparks' minigame. We jumped up the pipes. Got the one... with the laserfish statues. We'll check that last one again, since I have a map... that lists where it is. And I will show, because I'm... I'm fairly certain... Fairly certain that I triple checked that one up to it. Maybe I gaslighted my memory into making it. Oh, hey, they actually hit me that time. Maybe I'm just making myself think that it was an open chest. <laughs> was there one in the water? Nope, because I, I literally am looking at a guide. That lists all the locations, and even found a map that has handy-dandy little notification things. Look, not notification, but like, uh, pointing like, hey, this is where it should be on the map. Because in here, let's see, it should be up there. So unless I completely, like, nuked myself, mentally, into believing that I opened it when I didn't, maybe the counter is bugged. I mean, I guess it wouldn't even help to count up, like, all the potential eggs that I could have gotten because I'm missing some eggs elsewhere. So I can't even count them all up. Yeah, it's opened. So, I guess the counter is broken. Somehow. Because I know we checked the chest at the, at the fish statues. We did sparks. Found the egg there. Found the egg chest at the thermals. Found the chest, so yeah, this area is done. Just highly, highly barked for some reason. We'll just have to see if after clearing out, like, uh, all the previous areas that we can... Hopefully that doesn't stop my progression. 
That would be very mean. Maybe leaving early broke it, but that couldn't have been it because we had to leave early because we couldn't get all of the the ones earlier. All right, we'll go to Coast Remains Normal. Like, it was literally impossible to get all the eggs in that area before. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Coastal Remains. Let's see. Uh, coastal remains. Let's see. Twenty. Along to the left. It's hard to tell. Let's see, twenty-five. Complete the true mother's challenge. Did. Oh, Twenty light gym door. We got the egg thief. So we don't need to go there. Twenty-three. On top of a platform. Let's see. We'll quickly check this way for that one. Oh, wait. All the eggs are already done. I'm done. I am fool. So let me. So still jump up this one. Let's see. Coastal remains complete. Blinks' challenge in the bottom of a broken tower of the west area. I think I did that. Let me quickly check the map because this is number twenty-five. Number 25, Elevator to Sunken Ruins. Hmm. Did I do that one? I think I did that one. Yeah, I did that one. On the platform at Otto's Pool. Did that one. Collect your reward from Otto. Did that one. Well, first things first, I guess I could uh, check my task list to see if it's just one that I... Yep, it's just out in the overworld. Uh... In a cave at the end of the 20 light gym area. In a cave, huh? I forget. Did I do that one? I know that we went in there. We'll quickly double check the light gym area. And see if I did find that cave. Well, that was guy kind of slow. Because for some reason, I do not remember a cave. Nope, this is definitely it then. At least I think so. Aha! I, for some reason, I thought that was just a normal pile of rocks. Alright, that's done. The coastal area is done. As far as we can tell, the Sunken Ruins is done physically, even if its counter is barked. Now that we have 70, we can go back to Dragonfly Falls. Or like Dragon Falls, or like whatever. We can head back to the main, like the first area. We'll heal up on all the fodder. And then probably try to finish off the first area, then jump ahead to the second area. Quickly heal up on Fada. Yep, because we can go to Dragonfly Falls for that 70 gym door. First things first, we need to land so I can see. We are good for Dragon Village. Good on Crocoville Swamp. And uh, all that could be left is just the hidden area. 
Depends on how many light gems they want to stack in there. How many light gems do you have? Seventy. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro, and spend, spend, spend. Wait a minute. I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Evil game. Yeah, there might actually be that many. Like, uh, light gems in that area, since there's a... Teleporter shop inside the area. Oh yeah, I don't think, uh... We can't go back up, can we? Oddly enough, this still might be... Faster. Oh yeah, there are a few places like this, I think. I know that we already, like, grabbed this one. Uh, we'll, like, uh, so yeah, we have to fly about. Yeah, because we have to go this way. Purely so we can make it back around, since the teleporter closest to the gym door is off, off a cliff. So we can't actually just go by the nearest teleporter to it. And following this path technically is uh, faster in a roundabout way. Oh yeah, and there's also a jumpy jump here. Might as well jumpy jump. How come, how come you can't spider dragon like uh, Blink can spider mole, dr uh, Spyro? So it's a good thing that we went there. Then again, the moment that I like read. Huh. Oh, there's a. I forgot there was a little flighty fly. So yeah, it's entirely possible that two light gems can just be hidden inside the light gem area since it's so big. We have to wait for the floating rock. And we'll go through there and then head to the right. And then uh, after we clear out this, the light gem door, if we don't have all the light gems, we will, excuse me, we will consult the guides in the map. Game, you're being, game, come on. There we go. Maybe I just wasn't holding forward enough. Have to get in the groove of the stabby stabs. Yep. Drop bombs all you want, evil vultures. You'll never kill me. Yep, here are the boxes. Open Susamu. I really wonder why they have so many gems in this game. Because seriously. How the hell are you going to get to this point in the game and not have, like, all the upgrades? Like, sure. Make it so that there's still, like, enough in case, but it's still a funny little baffling thing. Uh, nothing else down there. I just always like to do the bottom portion, so it feels like I'm being proactive. But hey, there's also, <laughs> there's at least a secret behind this, uh, this waterfall. Or maybe it's not a secret after all. It's just the way it wanted me to go anyway. Less sadness.
All right. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Darn you. I guess we'll come back afterwards. There will be a loop de backy. You dare throw things at me, monkey man? Man, you have just... <laughs> I guess this is why they gave me so much fodder in here. I guess that's kind of the game to do that. Hmm. And I think this... Is this the way I came, or is this a way, a different way? Hop, egg thief. I'll need flame. This feels like the slowest chase in the world. Unless I'm supposed, unless the supercharge doohickey upgrade is somewhere in this room, and I am unaware. Just very slow chase. I have to get very sure, assuredly close, and then burn. Alright, 56 eggs. Six out of six. Just, uh... Seven out of nine. Eight, nine. Good. I had to, like, rack my brain there for a moment, make sure that it's, like, is good. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably... Blast. Why play a game when I can cheat through the power of Electro Gun? Double check, because that was like a little indent. Didn't want that to be a thing. I guess that's in case you came across the basically give the the egg thief lots of room. Yeah, these are like the attack bats. Oh, that doesn't actually hit him. How oh dare. If I do this, I can never die. And yeah, that's just a hole. I don't think there's any... Well, never mind. There is a way down. Unless it's like just death. Nah, just treasure. I thought would be nicety. So, only one light gem left. Let me quickly uh, get back to solid ground. And I shall consult the map. Uh, wrong map. To Dragonfly Falls. Yeah, that's the only light gym here. Dragonfly Falls. Reachable with wall kick near gym 10. Gym 10. I think that's the one we did uh, recently, yes. See. Complete uh, behind a strong door destroyed by cannon at 17. 17. I presume, because I think we did that area. We did do that area. I'm just cross checking everything. And a lock chest off to the left in the prod area. 20. I presume that I did that, but it's, uh, I think I did do that. We'll have to double check. I think you might know where the last one is. Uh, it's by the ball gadget, but I don't know where that would be in here. Never got the chest there. Okay, let's quickly check. Uh, hmm, 18. 18. Yeah, I don't know where the ball gadget in this area is. <laughs> I 
Oh no, it's not having anything to do with a glitch YouTube chat. I'm just wondering, I'm cross-checking with a guide to tell me where potentially it is. Yeah, but I don't know where the ball gadget was. Uh, upper left, then we shall go to upper left. I know that we will. Well, uh, might as well double check. Because it says. Yeah, this way behind a breakable wall did that. We already did the secret area. I am just checking the various things because we're missing one. And I have to cross reference with, like, my memory is like, where? Ah! Huzzah. Thank you, you uh, Twitch chat. And I do believe this completes all, because, like, Dragon Village, 6-6, six, six. Uh, Crocoville Swamp, 8-10, Dragonfly Falls, 6-9, Coastal Remains, 7-9, Sunken Ruins, 5-8, because that one, the, the egg is broken. We searched all over, double-checked all the eggs in there. We got them all, but the counter is broken. Cloudy Domain, 7-8. There we go to Frostbite Village, and I can't do the the top one, which is basically because I think that's like 90, the 90 light gym thing. Let me quickly check. Frostbite Village. Yep, at the end of the area behind the 95 light gym door. Just cruel, so we don't need to worry about Frostbite Village. Gloomy Glacier! We definitely need to worry about Gloomy Glacier. That is the... ba ba, -ba. Gloomy Glacier. Since it's a very linear level, playing just as... ba ba, -ba playing as Hunter, it's probably just best to... I, I, I think the wrong way. It's probably just best to go there and uh, play the linear level while checking with the the guide. Hey, Final boss completed? Not yet. Ah, are, I figured I'd do as much of the backtracking like now because I wanted to. But we'll head to the icy domain, do the gloomy cave. Basically trying to do as much of the backtracking now, so there's less to do... ...after we complete the final world, presumably. Alright. I just need to remember uh, where to activate Gloomy Glacier. I forget. I think it's down there. Is it down to the right or is it up to the right? Let's see. I just completely forget. Oh, my. yeah, might as well buy that. The problem with this is that, like, only... Like, I think... I'm trying to think... Do -do. How dare you hit me. Yes. 
Because I think it's through here where, like, the mammoth ambushed us. This should be to Gloomy Glacier, yeah. And it hmm, could have sworn that could be a thing, but I guess it's just set dressing because Hunter's here, and they're like, ah, Hunter could be shooting. Hmm, sure. Then I guess if we want to go back... Alright. Gloomy Glacier. Let me double check map. Alright. Because I think we got 41, the egg. There's 41 inside a locked chest in Bentley's bedroom. Do believe we got that. Then 52, Gloomy Glacier... Like a gym. Clear out Bentley's cave. Definitely did that. So let us move on past Bentley. I probably should have healed up Sparks, but we then again, who knows? We're probably going to die anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot they actually just drop here if you wanted to farm without paying. Even though that's nonsensical. So after this room in the next big room with that little offshoot. Well, that's just mean. Hopefully we don't have to actually fight the skeletons again. That'll just be mean. Alright. No, because the this is where that gem was, I believe. Double check with map. And then 42 egg. Inside a locked chest after the skeleton summoner. Triple check. Yep, got you. Go ahead and eat up Sparks. Get him to heal. Sparks, eat this last butterfly. There, Sparks, there's one more butterfly. I know it's in the wall, but eat it. Picky eater. Alright. Next up is 43 egg. Behind a cracked wall. Alright. In that little bulbous area. We'll take a look there. I think we got that, actually. Definitely got that. Okay, that's just... I. Why do you have things fall on head? Just mean. Basically, it defeats point... ...of platforming in general. Apparently, I have to reactivate this. Yeah, seriously, after this, I think every single, like, targetable. <laughs> Alright, so that's clear. Next up is 54 gem. Inside a ribcage with a yeti. Destroy with a fire arrow. I do believe that we get that. But we shall see. Let you calm down your spinning. Oh, and I fell. Darn you. Come on, I just want to play game. Let me skip you all your shenanigans. It's me, the super gamer. Again, why have things fall from the fucking ceiling, asshole? Hate it in a stupid platformer. They do that far too much in this game. It's always when you least expect it. Again, stop. I hate it. It goes too fast. <laughs> I just want to platform away. All 
Alright, just double check thing. Should be in that little bubble spot. Shoot you. Are we at the bubble spot yet? No. Come on, you can respawn. I know you can. You gotta go fast. Guy shot too fast. Definitely grabbed that one then. Then again, maybe I could have... Freaking skeleton. Skeleton. Alright, the next one is an egg that should just be here. 44. Underneath... Underneath the first bridge, you bastard! Underneath the first bridge. Why would you have it underneath? Especially when you have things, like I guess, off to the side. But how, who would be looking off to the side? It is bridge. Utterly ludicrous. Like, I guess, interesting place, but very missable. I wish that, like, there was a bit more of a tell about it. Also, Jesus, Hunter, your sensitivity is whack. All right, that's saved at least. And I think that's the... All right, the only egg that we have to worry about in here. Then... The only... The next one should be 55 on a ledge with a Yeti in the next, like, uh, room down there. Considering that there's a big bulb with darkness, entirely possible that we... <laughs> Underneath the bridge the way you said that, apparently, I said a funny. It's all about the delivery. Which is why DiGiorno will never be funny. Yeah, basically I have to keep doing this because these are the enemy bats who will dive bomb you and do horrible, terrible damage. And because I have a projectile weapon, I am like Hanzo, I am just spamming. I am low on health. I don't think I could melee a bat. Pokemon has taught me. Trying to punch a flying thing is futile. Almost, damn you. Fun fact, I've never had DiGiorno, says Twitch chat. I mean, in the world of, like, infinite pizza works, always possible that there'll be a pizza brand you've never had. Depends on where you live, if it's even available. Bastard. Scream for me, Bone Man. All right. Because there is a room off to the left that we've apparently never gone to before. I hate these skeletons. They just patrol. Welcome to the Bone Patrol. Also, they go very fast. Then again, it looks kind of like a... But I don't think it's you. I think we've already done you. So, yeah, I don't think we can make it over there, even though that is where the game is saying there's a big unexplored part. A place we can't go. And, in fact, I, the map says that's not even where it is. So 55 is definitely not the gym we're looking for. 57? Uh, at the top of a bunch of crumbling platforms. An odd lane. Oh, yeah, because Sparks is 56. All right, so 57, 58. 57 seems like a 
probable missed gem minion. I hate things that are falling in this game. Ah, come on. Why don't they, why isn't there like a little safety ledge? Like, oh, you landed. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, like, I just wish it was hard for you to fall off after landing. And this next room is where I presume is my missing light gym. We already did that. Definitely, I cleared all. I didn't go that way because it was off to the gate side. I wish that the camera was a little bit better at telegraphing where I'm going to fucking land. All right, Skeleton Patrol. Your bones are so weak, I can punch them to death. If I make it back to Zoe, I do believe that means I can just quit this goddamn level. Well, actually, I think actually, actually. I think since I got it, I should be able to quit this level, but I'm going to save. So yeah, the two things that I missed in here, I can't quit. How close am I to the end? I'm decently close to the end. Yeah, because I think quit quit would just make me respawn in this level as Hunter. So yeah, the two things that I missed was an egg under a bridge, which I never saw the indication of existing, and a second part of this giant cave that I never saw existing. And considering that there is a bulb in the map that the game itself doesn't let you go to, that's not even a good indication of like, oh, there was a section of the map you didn't go to. It was like, yeah, there's also a section of the map I couldn't go to over there. Looks like you need to complete it again. Complete what again? Not Gloomy Glacier, that's for sure. Well, we don't have to go to back to Spyro. We just have to complete the level. I'm fairly certain that there's actually a point of no return. We just got to get here, and then it'll be like, ah, the level's over. The hunter section, I mean? No, we don't. Gloomy Glacier's done. <laughs> Hunter's like, how'd you even get here? And now we are in the Citadel, because just to prove it... Gloomy Glacier! 6-8. Done. Now we just need one dragon egg for Ice Citadel. All right. Egg, ice citadel, inside a locked chest behind a wall after the second boiler. I think so. At the end of the supercharged tunnel opened by Dark Jim 24, fairly certain. Well, I guess I should probably open up the map as well. Yeah, fairly certain that I got egg 47. Egg 48, fairly certain as well. Behind a cracked wall after egg 42. Oh, wait, uh, reading the wrong one. Complete Sergeant Bird did that. Behind a strong door in the area near gym 25. Fairly certain I did that, but we'll double check maybe. Hmm, then an egg thief, which I do believe. Yeah, we killed him. 52 after a couple of pole spins. After an upwards moving platform. Opposite a cannon. Definitely did that. Let's see. Number 52. F 
fairly certain we did you, but we can always double check. Like, fairly, fairly certain we did you. So... Uh, da -da. We can just teleport to... Well, we'll have to get to the first... Shop to teleport. Hmm, I wonder, can I kill these guys? That is hilarious. I can kill anything with Ice Breath. Fitting that Ice Breath is the final... Breath unlock, at least. Alright, I said it all. We'll go to Supercharge Central. Alright. Yeah, I do believe... Like, uh... Double check the map, because it says... 48 should be at the end of the supercharge, which we did. And then the next one is in... The next big ol' room. Behind a strong door, which I believe we did. So, really, it should be maybe the... After a couple of pull spins... Let me see. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me that the counter's bugged on this one, too. God, that would suck. So, yeah, the only ones I could think it had been is, like... I guess we could double-check the at the end of the supercharge tunnel, then behind the strong door, then after the couple of pole swings, because those are the only ones that I can think of. It says at the end of this supercharge run. Which would have been right here. Which I do believe means that we like completed it entirely, but still. Might as well triple check. It's right here. Nope, that should have been where it was. It is gone. Like, you're the only thing that Ice Breath wouldn't work on, huh? Makes sense. But that still works on you, which is hilarious. So yeah, it was in here, I believe. Let me quickly check up. No elevator, so that one is done. So... Yeah, the only ones left would be... Because Complete Sergeant Burt's Flying Game, we did. A Thief by the Drawbridge, we did. 52 after a couple of pulse spins. We'll double check that. And above an upwards moving platform opposite a cannon is what we also did. So we'll check the thief. Then head down to check on the... Oh, we need the supercharge to check that. Yeah, definitely got the thief. But at the same time... Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I am dumb sometimes, so I'm going to give game slight benefit of doubt. Probably shouldn't, but I will anyway. Because there is always that slight chance. Yeah, because the thief was just, like, in here. So, yeah. Oh, well, up ahead a little bit, but... Not here. Then we'll check the cannon, which is all the way down here. Oh, wait, no. Uh, right way? Wrong way? Oh, I can actually open that. I'm dumb. For some reason, brain is just bleg. Brain is melting. Especially because now I'm wondering if I am just, like, <laughs> am on a rabid goose chase because... It's entirely possible that the counter could just be broken. 
as proven with the sunken ruins. Yeah, because here, the egg was up there. Not anymore. We need to go that way, I think. We'll quickly check. Hmm, that didn't activate the the shockwaves. Just triple check, not here. That egg definitively got. Now we need to head this way to check on the after a couple of pulse spins, but no. I'm fairly certain that we also did this one. Okay, it is timed. I just didn't... Because I'm fairly certain that the egg was there. Yeah, the egg should have been right here. Because that's after the couple of pole spins. Yeah, because... Yeah, because inside a locked chest, behind a wall, after the second boiler. That's like the only one that could possibly... That I haven't double-checked, so maybe... Because at the end of the supercharge, we checked that. We definitely did Sergeant Bird's flying game. Behind the strong door, we checked that. Thief, check that. After a couple of pulse spins, check that. Above an upwards moving cannon, check that. So the only one that it could be left is behind the boiler, which is a bit of ways, but we shall check that. Just in case. Because it says that it should be up there. So, like, a little bit after the first teleporter. Yeah, I'm just going to double check it. Because that one I could foreseeably have missed. So, we're going to double check that. <laughs> and see. I like Sparrow's design when he meets Cinder. We'll definitely get to Cinder eventually in the Legend of Spyro. Those are the ones I'm most excited to get to. I think they're like a beat em up game, so it's a different, like. Bub bub bub. Like a, a different genre than most people are probably used to. Which I could definitely see, like, hardcore fans going, like, how dare you change Spyro's gameplay? Me, I don't really care. I, I, I am here more for the character than I am like, specific brand of gameplay. Yeah, a bit after the first boiler, which is this way, and then, like, to the left, I think it is. Rung to the left a little bit more. Ah, maybe. That one is a little too hidden. <laughs> there we go. Not Bork. All right, then I think that is all the things that we can do. Dragon Village, done. Crocodile Swamp, done. Dragonfly Falls, done. Coastal Remains, done. Sunken Ruins, presumably done. We checked all the eggs, but none of them, like, were missing. Like, the only one that was missing was the one that we couldn't have done before because we had to jump up the pipes. Uh, Cloudy Domain, done. Frostbite Village, can't do because the locked off area is up there. Gloomy Glacier, done. Ice Citadel, done. Next up, Stormy Beach. Now we just need to actually uh, uh, get to a teleporter. I guess it may... Well, no, I can't go back because of the locked door. Huh. Goodbye, Elder. You're presumably still stuck here. You're stuck here forever! You will never be found! You will die here! Pre-firing little scrub. 
Why do you whisper? It's like, oh, they're not going to come get you. You're a teleporter. All right. Now, after... Really, the the only reason this took as long as it did was because Sunken Ruins is a bitch. And broken. We double-checked everything. We, we went everywhere. The counter has to be broken. Either that or I'm somehow dumb and missed one of them somehow. Despite looking at a guide. Well, Volcanic Isle. Since we have everything, we should be able to find everything. So let's go. And remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Considering that there is such a low amount, this is either, like, going to lead me to the proper levels, or... Like, I don't even know. Hello, walrus man. Oh, hey. Treasure chest. Are you gonna give me something good, or are you just treasure? You are useless to me! So we just have to wander around this place. Ahoy! Oh no, Normandy. Alright, so this is a guaranteed egg and light gem. This is guaranteed. First mini game of the area, and I presume only mini game for this area. Prevent the orcs from escaping. Already kind of difficult. This is like Nam. I don't the uh, I think this might be a pretty difficult one. My health is going down rapidly. I do not like this. Oh no. All right, that's a lot that got by me. I don't like the fast ones. No, okay, never mind, we did that. Okay. Sure. You don't have thumbs. Then again, do I? D d do I, Spyro, have thumbs? If you're successful again, I will reward you with a light gem. Well, let's see how much hell this is. Now, uh, only 75. Indistinct yelling. We're just murdering the Norks who are working for an evil dragon this time. Honestly, I wish that the the, the big guys were the ones who were uh, fast because they have a, a bigger hitbox. Gotta kill the little guys. We'll never let them live. That is a very lenient. I okay. I thought it would be a little bit more easy. I mean, a, a little bit more easy. Bleh, a, a little bit harder. 
more uh, evil. But no, very nice. Very much tension, because I thought a lot were getting by, but hey. Light gym is mine. Yeah, that's a uh, two of two. Interesting music that's playing. I like it when mini games are like that. They have tension because I'm like, oh god, am I going to fail? But then they turn out to be easy. Oh, hey, Egg Thief. Prepare to die. Either give me that egg or make a new one with me. Either way, spread those cheeks. Why do you even want it? That's never been lore that's been conveyed. Oh, because I'm smarter than you, you decide to punish me, game. I wish I could quick fire a firebomb to kill him. Oh, but get I hate when Spyro does that. How dare. Just a random figure eight. Well, that just means one light gym in the area left. I just, I don't know which way, like, uh... Ah, uh, hell, money bags. I don't know why I said it like that. Money bags. Guess we'll active. Well, I guess you're not really activated. You know, for a big open area, it doesn't very feel big and open. Well, it feels big and open, but it doesn't seem to actually be big and open. It's more like big and empty, if you ask me. Because the map says I can go that way, but maybe after I... I think I don't know. Well, then again, there's tarps, so maybe if I come in here, it will... Nope, can't climb there. We can act activate you. Oh, there's platforms there, so we need to begin at the left. Well, on that side. We need to begin left from my current position. This seems like a big door. What lived here? Giants? Alright, there's moving platforms... But it doesn't seem like I have a way to go, so we'll go through for that open cave. I just want to explore that way, just in case... Like, uh... I don't know. My brain is always in that, look out for the way I have to go. What if I miss something optional mode? But we'll go to the cave, then. I just hope that if I beat the final boss before 100%, I don't have to beat him again after 100%. That's also a motivating factor. Then we're in a big area that I presume should hold the light gem. Well, should hold something. Really, that should have destroyed that dark gym for me. Go ahead and open, just in case. Man, they're just draining my lockpicks. All for gems, too. 
just feels awful. And there's the light, Jim. Well, where's the dark gem that's, like, ruining everything? Well, that's this area done. All right, that guy just went through those fucking boxes. How dare you kick me in the ass? Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to use that to fly all the way. At least this area is fast, but I presume that there's still going to be two areas on top of this that'll be just absolutely stacked. I presumed. Doesn't look like it's here. So we shall go back. You think that the big open mouth cave, that's the most immediate way to go, would be the main way forward and finagling amongst all the wrecked ships would be the optional way. Well, quote unquote optional way. There's a big old path there. We'd have to go there someday. Again, why did they de-Britishify the bear? It makes no sense! Well, I guess I could also spend all this money buying all the upgrades for the ice. Spend, spend, spend indeed. That took a lot of my money. Why not buy more? I'm gonna buy. Hmm. Gotta heal sparks. And find a way to those floating platforms. There's a big old box, but it doesn't seem like it leads anywhere for me. Because there's big old moving boxes. Like, well, not moving boxes. Hmm. Maybe I need to begin with these? It's hard to tell a bit. Then what's even with those? Because there's nothing else to collect. Like, are you just here to intrigue me? Or is the dark gym that way? Well, I guess it was pretty easy to go this way. Or is it just for more gems? Well, I have movable moving platforms just for gems. That feels like a waste of development time. Nice music for this place, even if it's seemingly short. Oh, come on, game. What is a Spyro games having oddly difficult simple jumps? I shall maximize my jumping capabilities for you, game. Game? What the fuck? Game? Come on! Why? Why do that? Just... Why? I don't understand games that do that. Here is a simple jump. We're gonna make it difficult for no reason. Congratulations, you have failed to complete... Uh, you have failed to make gameplay. Like, do I... I Just mildly difficult for no reason. Like, the most I can think of is, like, maybe there will be a secret world after we beat the final boss or something? To justify the count? Because 60, th like, I don't know. Wait a minute. 
I actually saw something. 60 out of 80. So I do think that we got, like, because we got one egg, so we might actually be missing one from the sunken area. Wait, no, no, no. There's still those ones missing. I don't know. My brain is bleg. The count is weird. We'll go as far as we can. About doing everything. Everything just weird in my brain. I try to do maths and don't come out good. I held, like, I clicked double jump and held the button, and it only started gliding a little bit after I've fallen. Game, why? Well, now that one was just my fault. I don't think I jump, jumped optimally for that, but I climbed anyway. I don't care about all the targets. All they give is gems. And that doesn't com go towards completion. Thank God. Oh. Ugh. Like, do I care to go all the way over there? It's just... Like, sure, it's a locked chest, but that's just going to give me more gems because we've done all the collectibles. Sorry, game. I don't, I don't care <laughs> about that. But what about the gems? I don't I don't care. I have enough to get the price hiked health e extent well not health extension but like health diddly d again. Yep, and don't forget we'll need to backtrack to frostbite once we get to 90 gems or 95, I forget. It's one of them. This definitely feels like we're getting to the end of the game. But there's still a lot of game left. Almost fell in to a ledge. <laughs> it's 90. Well, that's good to know. We're closer than further away. Ah, we got a, a, a new task. Climb the volcano. Ah, because we entered a new area. Which is five eggs and six gems. I might glance at the map before leaving an area just to, like, triple check myself. Hmm. Twitch chat says it's 90 for the light gym, blah, 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 while YouTube chat says that it's actually 95. Hmm. Just wanted to Test that. Alright, so... Supercharge. I wonder why you, you're here. Can I supercharge you? Well, obviously you're gonna be important, so... I hate that the game lets me just walk on to death things. How oh dare. Yeah, this just feels like a weird place, especially because the... Why is the supercharge there? I guess maybe after I unlock a segment of track, maybe? For some reason, they just look very far away, those little guys. They look very far away compared to... Uh, I don't know, it's just a size. For some reason, my brain says that they should be very, like, very far away. When in actuality, it's just because they're small. I don't know. I wonder if I need ice to kill you or if lightning will do. Nope. Needs ice. 
very annoying because Come on, game. Why do you have annoying enemies that are just out of your reach? You can only be killed by that move. And like, oh, you need to do it while flying. But we're going to make it annoying to do that. Just have enemies be normal. Stop trying to reinvent the enemy wheel. You're not clever. You're just going to end up sucking. Especially because enemies preempt your attacks in this game. So if you try to run at them attacking, they'll be like, I hit you first. Come on, double jump, work your fucking magic. Wait a minute, I have bombs. I should be using my ice bombs. What am I doing? It's because I just have completely forgotten that those are even a thing. Are you an enemy? No, you're not. You're, out, you're insane either way. Well, that's terrible. Well, at least we entered a new save area with a new uh, shop unlocked. Oh, I need water for you, I presume. Never mind. The fuck do I do to you? Do I need bombs? Uh, water bomb? The fuck do I... Uh, I guess I need, like, a charge? Well, this is just bad design. Because they the enemies preempt your attacks in this game. Oh, my, thank you, game, for just sliding me off the enemy. I was out of his range, asshole. <laughs> asshole game. Oh, hey. This works. It's just weird because I don't think we've ever had an enemy that was just charge like this. Like, sure, it's because, ooh, we have to make it special. Come on, game. Quit being a bastard. So I can kind of zone them out ever so slightly. And luckily, there are healies here. Let me check my map quickly. It's just a big ol' area, so I should be able to We'll annihilate these guys first, and then we'll check out that cave. Let's see, how far away can I be to utterly cheese you? The headbutt, uh, not headbutt, but ground smash upgrade is very nice. You'd think that this would Hey, you remember how, like, uh, the water is meant to, like, push things around? Why not have them, the water, push these guys around? <laughs> Give it a purpose. Otherwise, it just feels like a puzzle breath. And now we will go back to the poor depressed hyena. They are dead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Take this dragon egg. I can't keep it. Those monsters destroyed the house. I get my stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly depressing. I assume that is it for you. We'll quickly stop by to buy the next well the next buy another health pot and then we'll go for that cave 
And like I said, before we, like, move on from this area, we'll see about... Looking at a... at the map. Bastard! Again, immunity frames would be nice game. That's basic game design, actually. It is basic game design to make it so that enemies do not combo the player to death. Then again, I keep forgetting that I do have ice bolts. I hate you, game. <laughs> it's just so frustrating that it doesn't just auto-lock onto the poles, game. For God's sake, did that take away? Nope, that does not take away. It's weird that, like, that one, like, segment of uh, falling into, like, goop took away all of my... Like, even took away the health potion. The butterfly pot. But that one didn't. I do wish that I didn't have to jump to get that guy. Feels a little finicky. Alright, that one I deserve. And we keep that, which is nice. Oh, don't tell me you're actually going to get in the way of the pole dancing. Alright, that's way too fast! Game! Design better, you assholes! God! Ah, oh, we have- we want you to wait 10 million years in between poles. Why? Just have it be a normal thing. Quit overcomplicating it. Just have it be a thing. I don't like things that make me wait a lot. It's like, ah, but it's platforming! How else are we supposed to make it hard? Uh, clever design, mostly. It's like whack-a-mole enemies. Just, I do not like things wasting my time when it is a simple thing. I'm gonna go ahead and blast you. So that I have, like, less... In fact, you know what? I'll also blast you. Just in case. What the fuck, game? Why is that so fast? <laughs> yeah, fuck you! That is way too fast of a reset on that one. That singular one. Just why would you do that? Oh, hey, we're actually moving up in the world. I thought, hmm, weird. That is weird. Why is this way the way up? I thought the way with the dark gym would be the way forward. Odd. Especially because there's more stuff to do over here, but hey. Come on, game. My shockwave should have destroyed that. But I guess it's just for, like, the second half of this area. Yep, for a second half. Be gone, Marasmus. Um, ice shot. Alright. I can just jump over you, and then blast you. And yeah, there's just Neg here. You've collected enough dragons, you can now play as flame. You know, it's just been five billion years. <laughs> For the last fourth of the game, you can play as flame. Who's not even the most interesting, like, model swap. And we'll activate you. And a light gem! Huzzah! And... Uh, presumably the last Sergeant Bird, I think, maybe? 
I bought ice cream. Huzzah for ice cream. All right, let's hope. Yes, like always. Hopefully, this is a forgiving one. <laughs> How's it going, Neon? Decent enough, I suppose. Minor quibbles here or there. But not like too, 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 too many. At least not so far. It's mostly things like, hmm, I wish that the game allowed me to... Like approach, a like, approach an enemy a certain way with a unique breath that's not really used anywhere else. Where's the final diddly D? It's usually in a row. Ah, I'm sure I'll come across it. Eventually. This potentially seems like a... Like, kind of small area? Oh, there you are. Weird place for you. I still think that, like, uh... The Sergeant Bird areas... Can be a little overcomplicated. Now I need to hunt down the evil magicians. Alright, I'll definitely need to remember these. They could easily place the, uh... The bombing platforms. Alright. These guys, uh, at least in this segment, like to hang out around the edge. Uh, don't tell me I'm missing one. I'm missing one. How dare. Oh, come on, game. I totally picked that up. There you are. All right, first Sergeant Bird, easy. And it seems to be a small area, so it shouldn't be terrible to do for the light gem. Where normally, so, uh, I should normally I say, it's just that the Cloudy Domain one was terrible. Cloudy Domain in general is terrible. Oh, dear God. Come on, game. Why would you set them up like that? That's just an asshole thing to do. Oh, I wanted it to be a loop-de-loop, -loop, so I made it look like a loop-de-loop -loop when the character isn't designed for loop-de-loops. You... Fucker. Or maybe they're expecting... I hate you so much. Alright, that hit. Now this is a reasonable loop-de-loop. -loop. Dang it, game. I should be able to go through the rim. Damn you. Don't know where the last...
arch is, but we'll have to look around. Ah, the last arch. Is this a one and done? It's a one and done! Hell yeah! That one was actually well designed. I liked it. Mostly, it was mostly because it's a small level, but that still makes it good. Oh, great Scott Spyro. That was rather a tough one, I must say. But I managed to earn you a life gem. So yeah, I think so far it's mostly just some of the mini games and like Cloudy Domain or what suck. All right, let me quickly check and see. Molten Mount. Inside a locked chest, indeed. So we definitely got those two. I got that egg, and I got that egg. This segment is done! Enter the Dragonfly? Oh no, I'm not talking about Enter the Dragonfly, I'm talking about this game. Cloudy Domain is a level in this game that just... is just... it's poorly designed. Her to her! We are the developers, we made a floating platform level. We want it to be kind of non-linear looking, but also have it be entirely linear. Ho ho! It's just poorly designed, and then the Sergeant Bird level is... That same idea of like, ho oh, ho, it's kind of non-linear, and it's just annoying, we're gonna put enemy things everywhere. Also, that's the only one that had the little turret platforms for Sergeant Bird, where he needs to destroy them, but they can attack back, and it's just like, ugh. That's also like, uh, and here's another thing, I just remembered, Wing Shield. Useless. Hardly exists, does nothing. Everything explodes and hurts you anyway. It was like there for one thing. A segment of Cloudy Domain. And that's it. Cloudy Domain is it. Nyeh. Nyeh. The timing on these things is way too strict. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we, we did. Let me double check the map just to make sure. Uh, yep, we got that one. And then in this area, there's only a single light gym we need to worry about. For this big whole ass area. <laughs> Where the... This game, infinitely still better than Enter the Dragonfly. Enter the Dragonfly is just, like, unredeemable, in my opinion. There's just way too much wrong with it. It feels like they just stretched the PlayStation 1 models onto a PlayStation 2 game. And that's it. The music is still good, but that's because it was still slightly helmed by Stuart Copeland. Just it still had like other like uh composers, I think. Huh, gotcha. But, like, overall, the music is, like, the only good thing about Enter the Dragonfly. The writing just didn't allow for, like, Tom Kenny or anybody else to really exist. Bianca was only there for the opening. I'm sure we can just kill you when we get there. Ripto reprised his role, but then was only there for, like, five seconds as an inciting incident and nothing else. I'm going to presume that's the way it wants me to go and that's the way to get to the light gym because I saw it earlier. And then I'll... Oh, there's multiple phoenixes. And, like, also, the performance of Enter the Dragonfly was poor. The, the performance here is still good. I hate you! Ah, oh, crap. I have to fight this guy. At least I have a health dealie. A butterfly pot. Still. 
Like, what is it? Like, is this just like, hey, this guy exists, go fight him? I don't think I even get anything for killing all his minions. He just, like, fucks off. What a weirdo. But yeah, it's like, at, even if there's, like, annoyances in this game, it still has its own identity. Enter the Dragonfly, like, even against the developer's wishes. They wanted to do cool things with... Oh, fuck off. I know, my fault, I used the ice, but still, you gave me new weapon, let me play with it. Again, I hate that these enemies preempt you. I, why do you get such good aim? Game, please. Why couldn't they just have... Why aren't the shops also save points? That's kind of annoying game. But yeah, the, just the, the want of having enemies preempt... God, fuck off. Let me get by. I want to go by. I've already done this part. And I don't get anything for killing these schmucks. Let me just go by. Like, I know that I have the... the Icicle Blast... bombs. Which I should probably buy more of, all considering, since these are fire enemies that are like, oh ho ho, we refuse to die against anything else. So, buy up all the ice bombs that we can. Money is no material. You know what? I want to look down. It is a platform, but if I, the map didn't say anything about these things. Hmm. Interestingly, is that that guy? Does not have a shield, so I can just do that. Again, game, let him be hit by just standing there with the ice breath. Shockwave, slightly annoying. Stop preempting me! I hate the obsession this game has with hitting you before you hit the enemies. Ah, but we want to do difficulty! That's not difficulty, that's being annoying. We'll go to the left because that is where things are that are not progress. Bleg. Just far too much obsession with hitting the player before the player can hit the enemy. Ah, so you have re reactions. Like, no, it is just there to be annoying. So if there's an enemy around a the corner, they hit you before you hit them. Uh-huh. Odd. I guess I can make that jump. The game says I can. The game lied to me. Am I supposed to jump from here? Weird... Like, designation, I guess. Please let these be permanent. I'm already dreading this. Oh, there is a thing down there. So maybe I'm supposed to go by, but I don't know. I don't know. This feels weird. The layout feels weird. The intentions feels weird. I don't know. Oh, you are a bitch! Why? Quit spawning enemies then! You fuck. Okay, at least they give you an option to go back in, but still. Jesus! That is annoying! 
Go fast. We're gonna throw enemies at you. <laughs> God. I probably should have saved that one. Yes, you, you. I don't know why you show me that every time game. I feel like the first time it should just stop. We must show you the light gem, the thing that you were doing this for. Yes, game, I am aware. I, I heard that. What the? Th that was like the second one that I hit, and then it's just like, oh, by the way, fuck you. I hate this. This isn't fun. I don't like timer challenges like this. They're just frustrating. Especially because it seems like they bait you a little bit on the which ones you want to do first. Because this one seems to go by... I, I hate the timing on that. Like, either have it be so if you're gliding after a double jump, it always activates the head smash. Like, I don't know. And I don't make it, do I? That's going to ruin my timing. I think I made it. Unless the timing is that strict. Quite strict. Jesus. Yeah, not terrible. I just have a personal dislike for timer challenges like that. Especially ones that don't really show off. I'm going to quickly check the map. Is there anything in here? Nope, just that one gem. Goody, goody, goody. Ah, so that's why. So that's not the way they want you to start going. That's just the, the way they want you to get out. That's a weird design. At least visually to tell the player where to go. Not terrible once you actually get in there, just weird. Check. I'm going to assume that going left up here is the quote-unquote optional way. Not the way that moves me to the next area. How the hell did I hit the one on the right first? All right, we're gonna head this way. Let me check my map. There is yep, nothing else in this little pathway. I'm just checking them off the list as we go now to ease up. Not I'm just uh, light glancing to make sure that I'm not missing missing out. I presume egg thief. Yep. Lots of twisting and twining. Lots of ways for him to run. In fact, you should be like the last egg thief, right? Lots of geometry to get caught on during a, a chase. Little annoying. I have to get super close to... Stop running and blast. Booyah! Which is four out of five eggs and five out of six gems. Very nice. I presume you to just be gem gems, not light gem. Why have that be a thing still? Like, it's not satisfying to, like, it, it would be satisfying if it contributed towards completion. I need a map to get out of here, actually. But for them to just be, like, uh, do they even pay for themselves? 
do they come up to be the cost of a lock pick? And then I just need to be uh, carefully aware of uh, going forward looking for any light gem or egg opportunities. Like in this big ol' orb room. Fuck off. I think, nope, we have yet to come up across the, the orb room. Ah, smash smash. Gems or egg? Or light gem, maybe. Light gem! Huzzah! Thing that's actually worth it. <laughs> From YouTube chat responding to something I said previously, because you're just that awesome. I'm not that op uh, uh, option? I'm not that awesome. But I would like to say that I am decently above average in terms of gaming prowess. And egg! And now we can play as Ember, if we so choose. Like, how even do I do that? There was a Zoe nearby, so I guess we can try. It'd be funny. Let's see, wrong button. I believe. Ember model. I guess maybe we have to go to options. Or not. I wonder how, I guess maybe it's from the main menu? Ah, oh. Maybe in power-ups? No idea how to activate it, so it's useless to me. Apparently the only way to activate it is through the title screen, of which, why? Let me do it dynamically, man. Nobody wants to stop their playing session, go back to the title screen. And yep, six and five, only left is uh, one dark gem to finish off the area. And then we never have to come back here. So we are definitely nearing the end, maybe. Hopefully there's like a warning before the final boss so I can try to be like, hmm, where am I missing things? Oh, what the fuck? That's... I jumped about as when that fucking thing ended, game. Again, terrible fucking design. I hate it. Alright, so it's definitely, uh, job, uh, jump jump the, from wall to wall, wall jumping. And now we enter a new area, I presume. Ah, elevator. Down into new zone. Long elevator. And nice save down here, too. All right, five and six. Hmm. So I'm going to presume that there's actually, like, even more areas. Yeah, this is another small area. Compact with stuff, okay. Oh, 
Are there fucking bombs here? Okay, no, that's just a lantern. I thought it looked like a bomb blinking its light at me. Ah, great, it's you again. And I don't want to deal with the jumping goons. Why does Spyro do figure eights? This is not time for ballet! Game, fucking please. The sad thing is, I don't think I can make that. Ah, shit. That's just there to give me hope. Like, hey, you can buy stuff soon. Or, hmm. Or maybe we'll go uh, come out the other side. This is a ball one, right? Yep. Oh, please don't be terrible. Oh. Multiple choice. Alright, we... Ah, uh, because you saved me. Alright. And now we're getting into trial and error, non-indicative of anything zone. That one's my fault. game. Once again, using the, ooh, infinite lives, we can just make bullshit. Game, I'm jumping over it! Be more lenient! To have game be fun, there's no challenge here! I just want to play game. D -d -d game! Why? There's no reason for that to be such a tight fucking thing. I guess I just hold this eternally. Yay. I sure do love when it's like, hey, you have to go fast, but we're not going to let you actually... Uh, because the main problem is, you have to go fast to do things, and then you don't have time to take in information necessary to get the collectibles. And there's not an option to restart. I hate this. I... I... I, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't like the design of this. It is so... The game encourages you to hold the boost down the entire time to get past some obstacles. And then doesn't design the course so you can actually see where the hell you're going. And it's a multiple you have to play anyway. I hate this. I don't like this. <laughs> Game! I hate you! Why do you fuck up the fun segments by being overly finicky with your bullshit? But game, you encourage holding down boost 24-7. Why do you punish it now? Because you have to hold boost and jump to make that jump. Then immediately, like this entire time, you have to boost and jump. Boost and jump to make everything. And then, like, Psyche, you're supposed to slow down and not hold it for this one part. Why? Fuck you. There's not even time to see it, and I'm not even boosting game! That's bad design! God damn you! And, of course, this is a, like, forced replay thing, because... The gym was on one path. The egg was on another path. 
and I don't and I and I already know that I missed one gem in this stupid fucking mini game. I hate you game. This is this is dumb. This is dumb. Whoever made this mini game should never be able to design difficulty again. This is just bad. This is not fun. This does not spark joy. I hate you. Game! Quit fucking with the camera! So much to be like, ooh, whoop de doo! Oh, you're going fast! You need to go fast, but now you need to slow down! Just, it's. I hate this. It's mostly because it's not like a one and done. I have to come back to this stupid bullshit. And I hate it. And the timing is just so fucking wonky. The camera is fucking wonky, making it hard to judge the goddamn distance in that segment. I hate you, game. Why? <laughs> Why design it like this? Because then, camera wiggle, so that the f And again, that is just mean! You asshole! Give me a fairy. Give me a fairy. Give me a fairy. Ah, oh, shit. Fairy, you bastards. Oh! You fucking bastard. That's not even... I, I, so apparently I am supposed to make it over there. Alright, two. The bar ba da ba Okay, let me... Magma Falls Top. Okay, Magma Falls Top. That's the map I need to look at. Ah, okay. Alright, so there are two eggs and two light gems in the ball gadget. Gotcha, you bastard. So they do seem to be split. But first things first, we're gonna jump over. Because apparently we... Why? Why? Why do this? This all... This too. I find to be bad design. But yeah, just I'm very frustrated by that mini game because it's already annoying. You have to do it multiple times, or at least die at the right point to do it multiple times properly. But the funny thing is, I had more fun doing the like uh, trouble with the cart mini game from that one Spyro game. Game for the love of God, make I hate you. Why do you have annoying enemies? You fucking bastard. And I have to waste more of my ice bombs on these assholes because they're flying and dying in the way. I'll stock up on my ice bombs again. Because they, like, don't drop any of these bombs anywhere. <laughs> That's such a weird thing. You have all of these, like, projectiles for every single breath type. And then you just don't use them anywhere. Like, you have to buy them. Which I guess, sure, kind of makes sense. In a way but it makes it feel like they were artificially included more than anything. Because, like, here it feels like the only real way to deal with these jerks is with the ice bombs. And then you go and throw stupid stuff like that at me. All right, let me see. Hmm. 
Hmm. Magma Falls top. I guess we will go to the other part. Kind of spoils that, but hey. Game's mean. Now all I have to do is head back to the ball machine. Okay, because this is Magma Falls top. There's a second section that's just magma. Huh, actually. Well, I want to quickly glance at a thing. But I know that you're just uh, a gem, but I might as well do you. You'll haunt me. Oh no, you're a bomb. A single bomb. A single fire bomb. Well, maybe you're multiple bombs, but it looked like a single bomb. Which even then, it was a single fire bomb. So, not really all that useful for me. And I don't even know. Maybe this leads me to the other part, but... Ooh. Okay, basically I need to learn to die at the proper point. I can stall. Because now I'm trying to, like, uh, feel out. I wish it would just, like, spawn me faster, please. I don't think I... Did I go the right way before? I mean, the left way. That came... That comes very fast. That guy didn't even try to hit me. Damn it. I'm gonna have to do this again already. Okay, um, go. Oh, game, he was lifting his hammer. Fuck off. Damn it. All right, I need to go. Well, I don't even know which way. Yeah, hit me, you fuck. You utter bastard. Why? Why do you throw so much at the player? For no r you fucker! I was holding goddamn right, you bitch! Don't you dare save. Don't you dare save. Okay, good. Here's a death pit. You try to get by, you die. Why does this go so fucking fast out of the screen? Game! Do you not know how to dis- I fucking hate you, game. I was holding right! God damn you! If anything, it should just recognize what direction you were last hitting. Why does it just pick up speed like that? That's such fucking stupid design. Again, he was lifting his hammer. Fuck off. I just want to get by and play the game. There is no distinct pattern to your stupidity. I hate you. Why can I run into those, but at least I have them eternally? But now we still have to finish this to, like, get to the proper place. But at least I do believe that we got both of them. Because it was a light gym on the left, right gym on the right. We got both the egg and the gym in this segment. And it said that there was only two. Because the egg was there. Maybe I should try heading to the right this time. Maybe it'll be easier. Or it could be a devil you know situation. Why throw the fireballs too? Again, I hate that it punishes you for going fast. Even though when you go slow, it still punishes you with things that you can't even fucking see. I jumped over it, you bastard. Like, if the camera actually- once again, the main problem with- The main problem with this is telegraphing incoming threats. They just couldn't design the level in a good way, so the camera would actually keep up with the player to be able to see the incoming threats close enough. 
game. Fuck off. The, once again, the flame threats are way too fast. Actually have a, like a moment of stopping. The thing happened. It doesn't need to automatically happen again. You bastard. There, I think I got both of them. Both the eggs and both the gems in that segment. And, yep, the we are uh, Magma Falls. And, uh, I forget. Because, let me quickly check map again to triple check everything. Yeah, because three gems and three eggs from Magma Falls top. If we include the double Jeopardy and the Diddly D and then the two down there, okay, good. Now we just need to be careful attention as I go through the Magma Falls bottom. Gotcha. But Bleg. I think I already bought everything on the last one. All right. Uh, once we cross this room, I don't like these enemies. Like, I don't know, my depth perception just doesn't work on them. They look very far away when they're not far away. That is probably just a me thing. But I don't know. The first things first, I'll come over here and smash all these. Accrue a decent amount of gems, because why not? And then smash you. I said then smash you. Halfway done with the dark gems for the overall area. Again, have enemy that is just off the edge hittable by standing, please. Especially when they have, like, frickin' auto-aim at my head. If you are not moving at the exact moment they fire at you, you will get hit. Even though it's a projectile. Fuck off, you bastard! The f the timed trap thingies are just way too fast at recharging. Well, it's the end of the game. It has to be fast in the fear. Yes. I kill one guy. Another guy spawns. That's weird. All right. Let me double check the map. Uh, da -da -da. Nope. That is just that one gem. For that segment. And after we clear this big old room, we'll double check again. Again, what's with the these counts of the gremlin guys? Game, why does the guy that just hit me get like ooh hoo hoo immunity frames? Because he's giggling at, at hitting me. But I, the player, don't get I got hit immunity frames. I do not understand your game design logic. Like, it's especially weird because I'm fairly certain past Spyro games had invincibility frames. So it's just like, what is wrong with you? But at the very least, it just seems like individual small sections overall might have poor design occasionally, but overall still good. All right. That's the only one in there. Uh, this leads to the yeah, secondary segment. I think this leads the way out. Well, well, first we'll do this. Spyro, you'll never fit into that crack. You know, I usually find valuable... I think they reused that dialogue. I don't know. It feels very first-time generic. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Let's see. The Sergeant Baba ba level was actually pretty good overall how will sparks's level fare and i just realized we've yet to run into blink where is mr 182 
We've yet to run into 182 up in here, Mr. Blink the Mole. Move to the side, luckily I can do that. At the very least, they don't require a score amount for these. Oh yeah, and I don't think I ever finished my thought, but like, Sparks is out here annihilating foes left, right, and center with laser beams. Why, uh, why doesn't he do this all the time? Like, hairy, nasty Nork. Oh no. So this is a boss fight, I guess fitting. <laughs> I didn't expect a boss fight for the Sparks minigame. And I'm gonna have to do that again for the Light Gym. You just had to kill a Phoenix for it. And let's do the Light Gym. So yeah, so far it's just the ball rolling mini game that just sucks most of the time. The very first ball rolling mini game was fine because it wasn't timed or anything. The moment they put it like on a track or added a timer, it just went to hell. Which is sad because the overall mechanic could be fun. It's just that they overcomplicated the damn thing. It fell victim to the it has to be hard because challenge. Not understanding exactly how to make it fun challenging. At the very least, it's not annoying challenging like some of the Enter the Dragonfly stuff was. Honestly, thank God Enter the Dragonfly was as bad as it was so I could just justify not 100%ing it. That is the one mercy of Enter the Dragonfly. No, oh, screw you, I hit you. And there we go! Huzzah! Is that all the sparks? Oh yeah, I forgot to look. We could probably check and see how many sparks and stuff mini games are left through the... ...the egg guide. How could the dragon eggs even fit in there? They're pretty big. Let's see. Status screen... Okay, one more Sergeant Bird, one more Spyro Turret, but then three Sparks and three Blink. And we haven't even run into Blink here yet. Weird. We'll activate you because we can. Just making sure. Good, good. I'm all good. I believe this is the way to an extra thing. Oh yeah, let me also check and see. Uh, only one more egg for this area. Of which probably is up here. Ah, hell, the timed thing. Ah, uh, egg thief on the hell zone. A game? I hate you. I hate you so much because you took away the ability to jump during charge. Which is like, why? Why Why take that away from the player? Especially considering it seems like they expected it to be in this game. That's such a weird thing. It feels like they expect 
like, charging and jumping at the same time to be in the game. And then just completely botched it. Oh, hey. And speaking of botching it, that guy botched it. Ha-ha! I am the victor. Hilarious. And that is all for this area. But considering that there's like, uh... One diddly D per area. Dark gem. It's almost like they're spreading the dark gems out a bit. Let's see if I check. I still have it. Oh, I could buy another. Ba ba ba. I probably should have waited for that. I thought I needed to jump. Darn you, game. How dare you have things be far away from me. That should be illegal. Although it is kind of annoying that those are apparently timed so wonkily that by the time I got there they were going away from me. But now they're timed so they're coming towards me this time. Yay. Weird design that they decided to put this in at all. Magma falls bottom out of scanner range. Hmm. Weird. With like two more light gems, we can go check and see <laughs> which one is right. Is Twitch chat right and that it's only 90 light gems for that one area? Or is YouTube chat right saying that it's 95 gems? I think the guide also said 95, but I could have sworn that it was actually 90. And then again, we just have to beg the world that, like, the Sunken Caverns is good. And that Sunken Caverns isn't glitched. All right, there's a new task. Destroy all... Access the laboratory. And five eggs and six light gems. Hmm. So five eggs here should put us at 75 eggs. And six gems here should put us at 94... 93 gems. Don't know why I thought 94. All right. And there's a secret place there, too. Thank you, Frost Breath, for annihilating most of my foes. Well, let's see. 40... Why 45 light gems? I don't even think that, like, we can get here under 45. What the hell? Yeah, I'm like, I am decently certain that it is nearly impossible to get here at just 90, uh, at just 45. What the hell? First, I'm going to look around this segment. Nothing. Oh, wait, there might be a thing. Maybe. Could be thing. By turning around? Well, that's just weird. Why actually have a thing that's not a thing? Now, that's just annoying design. Egg. I don't really care about any of these. They are meaningless to me. But we will check all three, if possible. Ah, light gem.
What is- what the hell threw me off- is it the fucking bubbles? Fuck off. What is with your deal and just annoying me, game? I'm gonna die down here. At least, uh, it's infinite lives. All because of the fucking bubbles. Oh, hey. We can live? We could almost live. Which is weird. <laughs> Watch there be two gates. One for 90 and one for 95. That would just be mean. That would just be a mean thing to do. Ultimate troll move. At least I think we completed all that. Again, what's with the ballerina? Let's see. I think we went all there. And we shall check the map because... Screw you. Uh, I do believe Dark Mine. Yep. 45 gym door, egg and gym. Good, good. Now we shall continue along our way. The fodder almost tried to damage me. How dare. Now they're just giving me them in boxes. I like that. It kind of justifies... The existence of, uh, gems to put them in Bubba Buzz. And definitely there was only one in there. But I'm double check. Well, first we'll kill this guy. Do his job for him through his death. Then we'll check. And yep, there was only one in there. And once again, we'll get through this area and double check. In case. Okay, good. We can come down here. Why are there just robot guys now? I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't going to move. I don't even know what you're supposed... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you act like you're a ranged guy, and then you're like, Hi, I'm gonna poke you. Bullshit. What if I just did this? Ah, uh, there's somebody trying to shoot me. Well, we know where one thing is. No idea where the shooty guy was, though. Okay, game. Throwing multiple things at me. Kind of shenanigans. You look Gundam, so die. Well, how the hell do I get up there? Do I stand on top? No. Alright, what's the secret to this area, game? Because there is a secret. There's multiple things. I, maybe I need to actually... Like, I don't know what you want from me, game. I know that there's things. This isn't destroyable. Oh, maybe... Because they're hot? No. But there's no way back up, it looks like. I don't... I don't know what the game wants from me. There's no backtracking game? Huh. And there's just a guy up there. As if we're supposed to get up there. Maybe we backtrack through? Kind of doubtful, but I don't know. But that's all I can think. Alright, fall. I want to... Oh. That's just death. I thought it was actually going to be something interesting. Screw me for expecting something interesting, I guess. But it doesn't feel like there's going to be a way back. And there's things in there. Well, there's another teleporter so that be puts us at the beginning of that segment, so...
All right. Um, guess I can't, like, use them myself. What the fuck? You take multiple hits, you bastard. Oh, I guess I didn't hold it down. True. Your aftermarket laser must be put down. Or maybe this will activate to actually do things. Ah, to restore nature, we destroy a pipe. Let's see. Is this another one of those blah de blahs where it's like, ooh, there's a big open space, but you can't go there? Because that's what it feels like. That's the way we came in. This is the way we go, I guess. Oh, hello, Blink. Or is there going to get a point where the these mini games only give us? Eggs. Normally, I'd be freaking out right now, desperate to get underground. But we're already underground. For some reason, I don't feel that bad. Because we're already underground. Because you're already underground. Hey, you're right. Should I explore below ground? Will you be able to beat the rolling ball? Blink. Like I honestly don't care about any. Of Boxes, we just need to destroy five. Alright, so it's basically hell down there. Was that a... I wish that I could just normally look down. Ah, I think there was like a... I don't know, there's always like something flying about me. Damn it, game. Slightly less, damn it, because we're down here now. But still. Time to do sniping against the spiders. And that's how we get back up. All right. I didn't get any goddamn bombs. Where are my bombs, you fucker? I already don't like the design of this because it didn't give me bombs. Well, you have to go all over there and then we give you bombs. No, give bombs immediately. Like, is there a spawn that gives bomb? No, where the fuck? Why? Why design like this is bad design. <laughs> Let me actually play game. I would like to play game game. Why do you have to make normal jump difficult, you bastard? What the fuck? Genuinely. Bad design. No excuse is normal jump. Let me fuck go. You withhold bombs from me. And make jump bullshit? Fuck off. What the fuck? What is this? What intern made this? That jump should not be that difficult. It is just normal jump. There is nothing else. Normal jump. Why is it just by the skin of your teeth naturally? Again, what intern made that decision? Oh, now you come all the way over here. In your wonky animation, that's way too fast. You make no sense. And again, I have no bombs. So I can't do anything until I get the bombs that are all the way down there. God, I hate this level already. I get here, it starts moving. Game, why? <laughs> why are you like this? Why is this level the obtuse one? The bullshit one? I do not like. Yeah, the animation on this is just borked. Like, why even have that platform if you have the moving one, but then it's barely there? 
But this is a weird fucking level. I'm gonna wait here and see if it actually comes to me, if it activates, if I get on that rock. Because it's just animated weirdly. It's out of the corner of your eye when you're trying to look around. It's not obvious. And it's very fucking fast. Badly designed, in my opinion. Because you're trying to get to grips like, ooh, there's things down there. You look down there. And then it moves too fast. It doesn't indicate its presence at all. Same thing with this one, where, like, we're coming towards it, so it's kind of hard to see. And then it's already moving away. I hate you. Game, you are bastard. But I will use this vantage point to shoot a spider. And maybe some bats. They've, I'm not sure if they're evil bats or not. I missed them. Oh, well. Very interesting that it actually takes, like, your position into account... So you, you can't just, like, shoot over at all times. Like, you, the, anger, the angle actually matters. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're up here. We don't have any fucking bombs because the level design is shit. Oh, well, you see, that's part of the challenge to, to go down there and get bombs. I don't care. It isn't fun. <laughs> like, it is... Oh, and this one has respawning bastards, too. I'll destroy these guys just in case that they... Come on, game. There we go. Butterflies. Not the evil ones, but still. But that's a respawn for spiders, and I hate that. Game, I. this is the end game of these mini-games. Why are you only telling me now? At least now we have a spawn point. Game! We've been through this a million years! The fuck is wrong with you? At least it makes sense why this exists. It's to blow up and have perilous thing, and at least we have a respawn here. Slightly justifiable. Still, in my opinion, badly designed. Because they start you all the way over there. And just, like, make it very weird. It's already platforming. You don't need the fireballs, you jackasses. Like, you just don't need to do this. And make it annoying. God, every single jump feels like it's by the skin of your teeth! And the fireballs affecting the camera do not help. I do not like this. <laughs> the jumps are a little too hard for the amount of shit that they're throwing at you. And it's already annoying to get over here. And of course, the, the last one is the farthest. That's such a jerk move. They throw you out of your flow. God, the fireball. I wish that he actually had a ledge grab. Either that or they removed the ledge grab for those platforms in specific for some reason. Like, come on, game. Just let me play. Through your wonky bullshit. <clears throat> there we go. Now we shall annihilate all these guys. And now we will be careful. Well, actually, we're just right here. God damn. And the worst thing is, there is only one save point. So far. So if we die on that stupid... Unless you take me out. Nope, you're just going to take me the normal way. It's just you have to kind of go around. But at the same time, we don't have to worry about the jump now that we have why even have that there like if that singular if that platform was not there i would think oh i have to wait for that but that being there serving no purpose other than to fuck with the player don't like 
me no likey. I do not like that design at all. They intentionally, intentionally put a thing. And there's, oh yeah, there's going to be another segment. It's not all in this room. I almost forgot. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Just slightly over difficult and over complicating that segment. Thank you for giving me a spawn point right here. That is right through his abdomen. He should be die. Oh, there's another one, I guess. Throw bomb! I shoot you with laser blasting. Die. And another respawn door for the enemy spider. Which I just have to say why. It has projectiles. So he does have ledge grab. They just took it away for that one segment. How dare. Was there a fly fly? There is a fly fly. Once again, out of nowhere, context flying platform. I don't even know where the fuck... I really don't like the level design of this segment at all. It just seems to be like random bullshit design. Almost. Which is just... Deranged. We're gonna put a place over here, and then we're gonna connect it with a flying diddly-dee. And they don't ask you, like, question why. Oh, fuck off. Good, that's close enough. Hmm. This just feels like an overcomplicated level. My main question is, why? Just like, why design it this way? This is basically just a linear level. But at least I know where, like, a bunch of things are. And also, just a ton of fucking spiders. To deal with. But at least I know where potential spawns for the goddamn rocks are going to be next time. For the light gym. <laughs> Come on, Neon, stop your whining when the game is actually designed. Because this is just bad. Out of nowhere flying platforms just should not be in a level unless it is clearly designated to the player. Like, hey, be aware, player, this exists. Like, seriously, why does that platform exist when the flying platform is already here? It's like, it makes no sense to exist as a thing. It is just badly done that confuses the player. Because if, if the flying platform does its job, that doesn't even exist, basically. And there are sneaky little hidden places using all of these floating diddly-dees. 
all over the place. Because here's the thing, usually in hindsight, I, I can try to go like, oh yeah, maybe I was just being a little whiner. But no, this time no, the game is at fault here. The game is the one that is just being annoyingly designed in many ways in this segment. Because even compared to the other, like, uh, blink segments, this just feels cluttered, random, and overly difficult for no reason. Because at least sometimes I can able to, I'm able to go like, like I might, like I personally don't like, but I can understand how it came to be. But for all this, it just feels like randomly difficult. Throw things, slap dash around, confusing, overly complicated design for the sake of being complicated. Like he, he, damn you. Like, at least with, like, the flying fireballs, I feel like they're a little overdone. Not super duper terrible. I can understand why they exist the way they do. I personally don't like them because they're a little too fast. But I can understand them. A lot of other things in this, not so much. Because it does feel like the platforming in this segment is a little bit... Oh, come on, I oversaved on you. Damn you. Could have sworn that I restocking resaved you. I have to blow that up every single time. Or maybe I just did it too fast. So let's throw a bomb and try to restock again. Hopefully that saved me. Darn you. It also doesn't help that, like, uh, this is a more minor cr critique that only exists because of the overt difficulty of this section. And that the rounded edges of the platform are uh, very annoying with how tight the platforming is in this segment. It kind of... Not, not helping is the lighting. It makes it kind of difficult to eye a jump sometimes. Which, if the platforms were more, like, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word. Like, uh, god damn it. It's always that one. Because it's coming a different direction, it feels like. Or, like, it's spaced differently from the other fireballs. But, yeah, like, if the spacing was more kind and lenient between these platforms... I don't think that I would... I, I, it's always that one. It's always that one. The intern that made that exist. Fuck you. <laughs> you literally put that one there just because you know it's the hardest jump for this segment and you want to fuck with the player. You are a bastard. Damn it. Why is that one just slightly further than the rest? Hate it. Blah. There we go. Now I just need to not die. I can deal with that one spider after I take care of all the rest. Bleg. Wait, just the overall design of the the segments that I've played of this Blink minigame are just wonky and weird. Again, I don't understand that first platform. It serves no purpose, literally. 
Its purpose is to confuse the player, because it draws the player's eye. So you think, oh, I should be able to jump to it. And you technically can, but it's terrible. Meanwhile, there's a floating rock that you can cling to that comes all the way here, but it goes by super fast and doesn't draw your eye because you're looking at everything else. It's just like, I don't know. The design of this segment is weird. It's just slightly off in various places. It's kind of like the first red boss fight in the Icelands. Where, like, sure, with a bit of practice, I can do it decently. But I still think it's badly designed. Because it could have, like, there are obvious tells to make it less frustrating that they just chose not to do. Probably for the sake of my difficulty. We made it this difficult because difficulty. But they can't explain why it needs to be difficult. And plus it seems to be like, ooh, if we kill the player, it's difficult. But it's like, sure, difficulty in and of itself is kind of difficult to do properly. But that doesn't mean that, like... Oh, come on, you... Auto... Game! I was shooting at the goddamn spider that just auto-locked onto me the moment I jumped down. That is annoying. Why do more spawn? That's frustrating. That's also a question. Why does the spider spawner even need to respawn? And I completely forgot that there was a floaty, floaty, floaty platform that spawns here. But it's just always off on vacation, so I forgot that it existed. Like, if it were me, just off the top of my head, what I would do is I would make it so that... There was, like, a mark saying, hey, this is a juncture where a floating platform comes by at some point. So let the player know, hey, just be aware, a floating platform does exist and you can use it to get somewhere. It just seems weird to have it be like a ghost platform that they don't tell the player about. We can't let the player know about the mechanics. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, the ribbon on the party hat. Is that a part of the hat? Yep. It is indeed. I figured, hey, it would be kind of interesting to... Hmm. Just... I just figured it would be interesting to have the hat to match the ribbons of the Sylveon. Oh yeah, because that's why. I'm dumb have to blow that up, which means waiting for the floating platform that doesn't tell its existence unless you catch it the split second that it exists here. Like, honestly, if this one, why not just program it so that it goes when the player attaches to it? It doesn't need to be on a cycle. It's just needlessly on a cycle for no reason. Darn it. A little less. Yes. Let me guess, there's actually a thing down there? Yep. Which means coming up here is kind of a waste of my time. But maybe I can kill the spiders and then maybe come back. There we go. I found your hitbox, bastard. Your hitbox is now mine. Nope. 
There we go. I hate that the spiders kind of congregate under me. Hopefully they don't respawn. But it is nice that that seems to go down and come back up, but we'll have to see. Huh, that's weird. There's a level change here, and a level change up there. Well, now I'm confused, and I'm worried that the game is kind of a bastard. Needless to put the traveling goddamn platform over lava game, needlessly cruel. Uh, if I want to go back up. If I remember, there wasn't even any. But I would hate to redo all this. Then again, like, the platforming and stuff, like, with saves isn't super terrible. Because, like, oh, the only real danger is that one respawning spider, which why it respawns, I don't... <gasps> I can save! Ha 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 ha! Suck it! Of course, I missed my ride. It's again. Maybe it was like a programming quirk of the engine where they couldn't exactly. Well, no, there are other platforms that I feel like wait and then go if you step on them. Like maybe have it be manually activated by the player. Press press triangle. Just like something so that the player can instantly recognize, ah, this is a thing that I can use at their discretion and not have it be like a mystery that they need to backtrack to get. I got it enough. It's just gonna forever haunt me. And now we're gonna come up here again. Because I am like... Yeah, there is a level change, diddly do. And I might as well, like, come up here to triple check that there's no dark crystals that I'm missing. They should lead to the same place. It would be freaking weird if the elevation dictated the level was different. So I'm going to assume that that's not the case. We shall climb from here. And there's more, like, diddly-doos down there. So I'm not sure if it's just because there's a floaty-floaty that hasn't come by yet. That doesn't exist. Hmm, is the reason that there were two normal rocks at the beginning of the overall level thing because it was just, like, a prefab? Like, ah, two rocks with one side rock that moves? And they just didn't delete the first rock that was unnecessary due to... It would make sense because the, uh... The moving sideways rock did move jankily. So that's my theory. They modified, like, a... <coughs> a pre-done thing. Because they recognize... That they were going to use that a lot. And so they did. They reused it. Randomly spawning enemy? How dare. And they're the ranged ones, too. Like, good rains. Good rains? Good range. Well, now I'm afraid to actually go down. Oh, game? Why? Why have a thing that makes it look like I can go down when I can't? Game, why? <laughs> why would you do this? Uh, I'd have to do that entire segment over because there was no save. What? No. Fuck this mini game, dude. That's so stupid. Why do you have the wall climb thing there if it doesn't lead anywhere? 
This is just a badly designed bullshit level. I hate you. Yeah. And all the enemies respawn. But I'm fairly certain that I got, like, it did save my rock destruction. Because all the walls are gone, at the very least. Why doesn't it just spawn me at, like, the last higgledy-piggledy? God damn you. Like, could it... I, I don't know. Could it be that they didn't want me to begin at the top? Then why have it be an option? I'm gonna jump down here and try to go this route. Because see, we'll see if it actually changes. If so, what is wrong with you, game designer? What is wrong with you if this does change? It does change. I repeat, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, well, it gives the player choice. No, it, why? Uh, like... Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> What crystal were you smoking? I'm just looking for that one missing crystal. What the fuck does that- Game? Fuck off, that didn't even stop to let me grab. Heedily he, here is the floating rock platform you need to take to move onwards. Fuck you, player, you don't have an opportunity to jump on it with all the fireballs. God. Damn you, why are you like this, game designer? It goes so fast, why? Seriously, what is wrong with you? How about you see difficulty? No, there's not even there's nothing difficult about that. That's just stupid. There is no timing. Not really. Because of everything moving, the fireballs. No, fuck off. I hate. There's just no chance to jump on for reasonable platforming purposes. It is just completely out of sync with everything else. And it purely existing to be an annoyance. Hate. Hatred. And the fact that you can go to the top is so weird. That is just, like, such a weird decision. That you can just begin at the top. Uh, it does make sense, because there's, like, a middle one as well. Wait a minute. Did I miss one? Or does it, like... Are you meant to go, like, back? Around? I don't know. Screw you, charge down contact enemy. You are mean and no one loves you. Oh, damn it. That's me being a failure. Yeah, I just, I don't like this minigame. It's just long and tedious. Difficulty for difficulty's sake platforming, that's on me, because I just like, eh. It's just, it's not interesting. It's not interesting difficulty at the very least. Come on, I want to play game. I want to make it. So why you throw fireball at me at first opportunity? Do you see me stealing your lunch? I still hate the timing on those two extra rocks. As if they're just like from a completely different thing. God 
damn you! Why are they even out sync with each other? Game, why? This wasn't designed. This was thrown together by a five-year-old. Like, some designer left up their, like, rough idea of, like, and we're gonna have a platform here that goes from here, and then they let just, like, a five-year-old place them and do the timings. That's the only, like, it just makes no sense. Hate. I hate that they're out of sync with each other, that you have to do multiple goes for them to actually line up at a reasonable thing. Uh, why? Why do I have to wait for all four turns to be able to make it on? Game. And I'm not even sure if we can go backwards in terms of the holes. It's like, why is the timing so different? Why? Why are you like this? Yeah. That honestly feels like RNG timing. No, it's still not as bad as Enter the Dragonfly, it, just because a single minigame is annoying. Enter the Dragonfly fails in multiple ways. It's just the difficulty curve of this, like, specific small segments don't line up with the rest of the game, which is vastly different than, like, the entirety of a game just feeling wrong. Hmm. It almost looks like there's a ledge there, but it doesn't at the same time. Sometimes requires double jump. Sometimes no. And this one also goes way too fast if you ask me. God damn you, game. Please hit. All right. I'm going to try to do something stupid. Well, apparently it's not that stupid. God. <laughs> True. My bad for a question at near the beginning of watching being echoed. <laughs> oh, it's not a problem. There. I found your light gem. <laughs> Play for fun, you say? There is no fun to be ha had there. I completely lost my place in the universe. Um, There is no gems and stuff in that past room. It's just like that weird diddly deal again. We need to get to the like next. Uh... Oh, it's an elevator. I was wondering. We need to get to the next like shop thing to like play around with that one room that had an egg and a light gem that just uh... made no sense. Wait. Okay, good. Just want to make sure that wasn't like a thing. There's definitely a thing over there. Aha! Wait, what? 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 What the fuck did that just say? The like, certain mini-games were unlocked through that? So, 
these aren't eggs found in the mini games. They are things that unlock mi unlock mini games themselves. Okay. Weird. But okie do. I guess. Heal up, Sparks. I hate that it's a poke and a ranged guy. Alright, just make sure I'm not missing any weird randoms. Nope, just that egg and nothing in this room. We just need to be very careful looking around this big room just in case. Alright, seems to be fine. Yeah, just wanted to make sure there wasn't, like, anything weird going on the way back up. Ah, you can play the mini games from the title screen, that's what it said. For a moment, I thought it said, like, from the end. It was just like, what do you mean? Look, I hate... Why does the poll thing not work? <laughs> Seriously. Honestly, again, programmed just a little bit better. The way I would do it is, like, have a designated jump point where you can, like, jump. Game, please! You know that the player wants to get on there, so if I press jump, just latch on. Game. Why is the hitbox for enemies during the Sparks minigame? Night, okay, that was me. I didn't jump. But that's because I'm getting annoyed at you, game. You know the player is going to want to use it. So why are you making it hard for the player to use it? It makes no sense. Game, game, game. Why is the hitbox for that so fucking precise? Again, you know the players want to jump, want to gonna jump at it. Why is the hitbox just so utterly tiny? Bleg. Jesus. Fuck off, you fucker. I hate you. You do not get to do that when your fucking hit detection is so terrible. My only thanks is that I can kind of cheese the platforms by jumping on them repeatedly. But still. You fuck off. Why? I landed on it. Why did you glitch me through? Stop. Stop having bad design decisions. Like, honestly, yeah, just increase the hitbox of these goddamn poles. Especially since this is a timed difficulty thing. Please. It is so unbelievably precise what they want from you for that this singular type of thing. Uh, and I hit jump, but it didn't recognize it. Yeah. I am two times over odds for Reshiram in my suffering. May your shiny luck be better than my fucking pole hitbox luck. Like, seriously. Increase the hitbox of these things so that I can actually do the goddamn thing. Like, by three times. I hate you. The, the double jump is not worth it in this game. It should have just kept to the normal design of jump and hold. Because sometimes the double jump just wonkily does things. And overcomplicates the goddamn design. Okay, good. These ones aren't timed, but I almost don't... Like, I don't know if I can make that, or if it wants me to go that way. Because it could be that I go there, and then I go around. But I genuinely don't know. Ah. Oh, uh, don't shoot me. Oh, why is that one so evil... Like, 
I don't even know. I'm gonna check the fucking map. That's just that, that I am annoyed again by the design decisions. Uh, apparently there is a gym just like right around here. Huh, maybe right down here? Sure I'll have to redo all this, but... Screw you, I get gem. God. Damn you. I jumped through it! What the fuck is your reasoning game? God, the pole system in this game is stupid. The designer is eternally no longer tastes their favorite food. No longer. You like pizza, you can no longer even comprehend what pizzas taste like. The memory, it is gone from your soul. All because you're like, ah, we have to be very precise with the poles. No, you don't. Like there, that should have just been it. I was on it. Why? Why is it so precise? Game. It is simple function. It is basically jumping with extra steps. And at first I was fine with it because it was kind of cool. And now you're just overcomplicating it for no reason other than pain. It is slightly different jumping. That is it. This way is faster. It's because I don't have to deal with any... Fucking... And this is partly why I am using the map now. Because I hate segments like that. Why is it that the crab is like the only enemy in this entire game that like negates the frozen? Is weird. But at least we're at a save point. And map says that there is a shop nearby. Interesting. Screw you, I do not play by your rules. Yeah, that's timed. I'm gonna be angry. Okay, it spawned in it. Well, no, the... It is timed. I hate you. I wanted to get to the shop. Well, actually, it might actually be not that bad, maybe. Why are you ranged? I have enemies in a time segment, apparently. What the oh. I don't even... Okay, I guess... Okay, that makes sense to a degree. Slightly annoying because I wanted to get to the shop and there's just an egg by the shop. But okie doke. Oh, and I've collected enough for another thing. But I didn't stay to raid. Oh, nope, it's just Sergeant Burn minigames are now activated. Actually, this is actually not a bad segment. There's a lot of time to get through. It's just that I am very much... Just inclined to expecting the game to go, and now we're going to make it very difficult. I do think that it's a little wonkily designed in terms of, like, showing you. Because, like, I don't know what it was showing me at first. And only after I got there did I go, oh, it opened a door for me. I didn't know that. But now I know. And let me check, is that all that there was in that room? That was all that there was in that room. In fact, uh... Well, we know where one egg is. In fact, actually... That's so easy, I'm gonna head back and see if we can do that diddly D. That, like... Okay, that's just where they are. I need to tell- I need you to teleport me. 
No, not Dark Mine. Oh yeah, well, oh yeah, okay, my my bad. I was like, I was wondering, it's like, wait a minute, I don't. Why can't I see further? It's because like, further is that one final shop, and I can't teleport to where I am on top of myself. And I think I already failed. How the hell? I get it now. That was not at all telegraphed and because it's nowhere else in the game, but I think I get it. I think I know what I need to do now to get everything. Did not explain itself at all, but I get it now. Did not explain itself at all. Because I thought it was just a normal, like, in your way, diddly D, but I get it. I get it. Kind of annoying that it didn't automatically activate the jump, jump, jump. Well, maybe I'm supposed to jump, jump, jump over here. The timing is different. Ah, uh, it's probably because it's not jump, jump, jump. So I don't think so. Ah, eh, we can at least see. Yeah, this is like a full wall. The other ones are just pipes. Uh, it doesn't look... Maybe I can... Nope. It does not want me doing jump over. Then... What is the point of the wing shield? The wing guard is pointless. Why does it exist? It is meaningless in the totality of the universe. Ah, fuck off. Hmm, cause... hmm. Ah, darn it. But idea, maybe, I don't know. There are pipes in the way. Ah, cause I need to fly over here. I'm a fool. Gotcha. And now I kind of borderline have to go through everything normally. I inherently want to call that bad design. I want to go back to the previous shop. God damn you. Why do you force me to go forward? Oh, that's where the suffering bullshit level design is. I don't wanna. But they put a save here purely to punish you for wanting to go forward. That's so mean. You're here trying to figure out how to get to that stupid goddamn gym. The game punishes you by forcing you to go through the worst segments of the game again. Genuine, just malicious design. Especially because it includes just a long elevator ride for some reason. Yeah, don't let the player go back up to the shop to teleport, but definitely have a long, long elevator ride for the player. That's totally what they want. The priorities are just baffling sometimes. God, I wish there was a way to cheese this. There kind of is in some places. But other times the hitboxes are just utterly terrible. Game. And I have to wait because I spent too long in the air. Because the timing on that goddamn thing is so short for some goddamn reason. The designer just wanted the player to suffer. All right. One gym left. 
Just be on the lookout for one gym. I have to come down here to activate the door. Yeah, because I think the problem is it's definitely... The game is being held up by the infinite live system. Because they're just like, oh, we don't have to actually make anything balanced because the player can just throw themselves at the thing over and over and over again. And, like, I, I like Dark Souls and Sekiro and other kinds of games like that, but I don't like it when games use, oh, but you can just do so again and again as much as you want. There's no real threat of failure, but it's like, there, it, it's just a waste of my time. Because, like, Dark Souls and stuff has, like, good design to it. So when I die there, I, it's a, it feels a lot more fair and it feels like earned to make me go around again. But this is just like, eh, we don't feel like actually uh, refining our work. At least I don't have to deal with the actual combat thanks to the ice breath. Still annoyed that the enemies actively preempt your attacks. Well, I guess he's frozen forever, so I guess that works. Oh, never mind. For a moment, I thought you were frozen forever. Why do you have just mad blasting? Die. Because I do hear the thing. Ah, I see. Not sure. Ah, maybe... Maybe I can cheese it with this box. I can almost cheese it with the goddamn box! <laughs> almost! Maybe! I know that's slippery because it's not meant to be stood on! <laughs> Fuck your game design! I'm here to win! Waluigi wins! I am the winner! I am the king! I have no idea what that did. Because I, I didn't play through the actual goddamn level. Why have these pl- Game? Why are you terribly designed? Now you know what? Screw you. I cheatsy doodle again. Everybody- oh, come on, you climbed up there before. Just spawn me up there from now on. <laughs> Everybody cheat but Waluigi. And I'm a failure. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd like this puzzle either. It has to do with the pole dancing, which has horrible, horrendous hit detection. My way is probably faster, easier, and just overall better, so long as I don't destroy this box. It's a little finicky because it's not meant to be climbed. <laughs> I am the winner. I am the one, the one who wins. My box strat wins the day. Every day. And I do believe that that was... Yep, 5-6. I am the winner. 
And now we move on out of Dark Mind, because let's see. We are being perfection up until now. Let me see. Uh, status screen. 75 out of 80. 94 out of 100. There's a lot of eggs remaining for some reason. I think one part that gets me kind of annoyed by all this is because the music feels like it's been the same forever. Alright, I think that's just the door door thing, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. What the? It wasn't even up yet, but then it's like, oh, we decide you fail. That's fun. Let's see. We are out of scanner range. Nice to know. Yeah, that's just a... Uh... Yeah, just a... Uh... They just cloned the area. Alright, three eggs, five gems. So basically almost done. Is this better than Enter the Dragonfly so far? Most definitely yes. I do complain a lot at some points, but that's because the game is actually fun in many, many places. It's just the fact that there are minor annoyances or minor bad design here or there that frustrates me. Whereas, like, there's a lot of potential here. And, like, just minor, minute, like, changes could potentially make it super duper good. Meanwhile, Enter the Dragonfly had very, very few good ideas. Like the breath system. Ah, damn it. Multiple breaths? That's kind of cool. But the characters, like, they were just Spyro 3 again. And Spyro 2 again. And what Spyro characters were there were only kind of there, but not really. There really wasn't a story at all. Like, a few good ideas, but the level design was very drab. But overall, this game has cool ideas and decent enough execution. It's just that they fall into the typical video game thing of, ha ha ha, we must have difficulty. Which is annoying, but not terrible. Because I still want to 100% the game if possible. Enter the Dragonfly, I refuse. Just absolutely, horrendously refuse to ever do that thing. And, uh, uh, do I just walk towards door? I just walk towards door. Slightly odd. Ah, great. That's for something in here, isn't it? Alright, I have kind of an idea of what to do in here. Smack you. Smack you. Smack you. But before we get much further, have to go back and bring up the map for Red's Laboratory. Okay, let's see where we are. We're only in this segment. God, there's four teleporters in here. So it'll depend on, like, which area we go to, really. I guess we'll, it also depends on where we're, like, allowed to go. 
So let's uh, kill some fodder and then go. Come on, eat the diddly dees. I don't think there. At least there better not be any eggs or gems in here. That'd just be very annoying. Uh. Definitely need to. Spin, 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 indeed. What are you called? The Celestial Show. Hello, Mario. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! You have reached the perimeter of Red Slab. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a mega <laughs> robot, not a security guard. Whew, cool. So, what's this thing? The Destroyer of Worlds. My dear Philistine is an ovarian. In addition to showing the rotation of the planets, it locks and unlocks all the doors in this room. Well, great. I guess I'll wander around and see. There's some fodder, some locked doors. I'll have to learn how to unlock them all. Oh, hey, a thief. Who's unnaturally fast for some reason. I feel like he's a little too fast, but die. If only that was a light shard, that would be like the perfect light shard. Oh, if, uh, concept art is now available. Nice. Ah, uh, that's why if I move it over one, I presume, it unlocks this door. All right. Kind of neat thing. That's why there's that button on the other side in case you get locked in. That's bullshit, and you know it, game. Fuck off. Ranged enemies are bullshit. Range in general is bullshit. Fuck off. I, again, a little annoyed at how much the enemies just preempt your m attacks and movement in this game. I feel like have some maybe do that, but all of them do. Every last one does that and just repetitive and annoying. We just glance around every corner just in case. And we get invincibility, so that'll be fun. Oh, hey, I saw a light gym up there. So we definitely want to go through this puzzle for the light gym. Then we can finish this segment and definitely run back to... How'd you get here? I wonder what that actually spells out. Uh... Don't tell me that this guy was a... Like, do I go through? I do not. Then what was the point of all this? Ah, because there was a bounce bounce wall. Almost didn't recognize it because, like, the, the red and... Or red and yellow? Yellow and black caution diddly D kind of blends in with some of the other stuff. Huzzah! 95! We are getting close to the end. Oh, hey, there's also a... A shop up here. Uh... Alright, um... What do? 
Apparently this do. Odd. Shop right ahead, though. Since we have 95, let's go all the way to Sto Stormy Beach, I guess. Jesus. This is actually a long series of levels. Hmm. And now we make our way back to the teleporter so we can then teleport to Dragonfly Falls. Or like, no, or like wherever, uh, the, the ice place. We can go to the ice place. Almost forgot. Icy wilderness. So we can head up the locked door. And at least hope that everything should be relatively done on the back end. Because there is still the possibility that everything is forsaken and broken because of sunken ruins. But I think that's just a, like a, a UI error. It's just failing to state everything properly. Because we have 76 out of 80. Which still feels like a lot. Wait, 76 out of 80? That's actually not that much at all. I'm dumb. That's only four left. Go ahead, Spyro, if you got them. I could have just teleported here, but I'm dumb. <laughs> Neat that those guys are immune to ice, though. And it was 95. So I guess back here, like, the ice... <laughs> These guys are prepared for ice, so they can't be destroyed by ice. It might be a green egg we're missing, the one in Sunken Ruins, but that can't be. Because if we head back to the little guide that I was following, go to Sunken Ruins, we did the one that was right after the first underwater section, that is confirmed. We did the one at the top of the four set thermals in the room of Dark Gym 18, that is confirmed. We completed Sparks' challenge on easy, that is confirmed. We did- we got the one inside the chest near the shooting laserfish statues, that is confirmed. We got the one that was in a chest in the same area as Dark Gym 19, that is confirmed. And we also did the one that we needed to wall kick up a hot pipes whilst invis invincible. Like, unless something really weird happened, all of them should be activated. And it's just not showing on the UI. We can always go back and double check each one thoroughly if it is wonky and weird. Actually, let me see. If we go all the way back to Rudd's laboratory. Two eggs. And then... One egg. 77. 78. Seventy nine. Hmm. That would be very annoying if Sunken Ruins is borked. Then again, it's possible, maybe, but it's, it seems so weird because I could have sworn we checked every single one. Now let me check the map here. We'll definitely need to, like, potentially double check everything, but it just seems bad. Because again, like, every single one we checked. Fairly certain we checked every single one. You have collected the dragon from the. Now, model viewer is open. Because, yeah. 77, 78, 79. So, unless there's like. Uh, let me quickly check. Like, since we're nearing the end. How many Dolph eggs? Or just the Red Laboratory. So I guess after this, we'll quickly do a run-through of Sunken Ruins, double-checking each and every one. Because could have sworn that we got every single one. 
We checked every single place it could have sworn. But I guess since we're backtracking a little bit already, it wouldn't hurt to double check that as well. Even though I could have sworn we checked every single place multiple times. At least these icicles seem to give a warning before they fall. That's better than a lot of this game, for when it comes to falling things. Alright, so it's a double gate. Hopefully it's not timed. It probably is. That's a weird thing to clamber game. Then again, it allows me to... Alright, it is timed, but I can easily go back. So there is a deep underground area that we need to deal with. We will definitely need to double check the sunken ruins after this. Well, that's just mean. Why would you do that? You tempt the player with cool shit and then you say fuck off, die. Why have that be a thing? Ha ha ho. We have infinite lives. We control the player. You are going to die cold and alone. Now the real question is, where's the... Because I need the invincibility. Gotcha. But still... That's how. It... Then again, it. Ah, there's the. There's it. Is. There, the cave is in a weird place that it blends in with everything. Gotcha now. I'm not even sure which one it wants me to do first. Get... I hate when that happens. Game, please. Design your flying part better so I can actually go a place want to go. Especially when you have timed shit. Doubly so, because apparently there's no indication that that one rolls back up. Unless that, like, makes it go down, I don't know. Ah, you redid the thing, so we're going to have the opposite of what you want to happen, happen. And the cave is down here, I think? I thought it was down here. Where the hell do I go, actually? I could have sworn I saw the place to go, but the answer was actually, oh, hell no. There doesn't seem to be a thing down here. So, meaningless? What is the meaning? I thought that there was a cave to go underneath. But apparently there isn't? What the fuck? Yeah, because this is the same place. Nothing. Because I thought, like, the shadows on the rock may think so. This is meaningless? This is meaningless. I thought that would lead me into the cave to, I don't know, do something. 
but apparently not. I am very confused, game. What is your purpose? Because I need to go in there to get the light gem, presumably. Let's go back and open up an old map to Frostbite Village. Nope, that is literally worthless. What the fuck? There is nothing in that little alcove. That is the dumbest thing to ever dumb. What the hell? They set it up like, ooh, you need to do this thing. And then it's basically impossible. Weird. Like, if it is truly worthless, then that's just, like, the epitome of bad game design, but thank God that the worst of the game design is hidden away in a place that doesn't matter. But, like, if you aren't using a guide, you'll be like, oh, no, surely the light gem I am looking for is in there. And then you'll just suffer eternally. That's just unnecessarily cruel. And Light Gem acquired. Of which I do believe that is all the Light Gems. Now I just need to head back. So that we can hit a teleporter. Back to the central place, head back to the sunken ruins, and check every single place again. But yeah, especially because this is, like, the 95 gym area. Why would you have just a literally worthless puzzle? Or, like, maybe not puzzle puzzle, but, like, it feels like a puzzle. That's not a puzzle. <laughs> For the sunken ruins, try looking in order? Probably. Because this place is done. Eggs and gems all acquired. Taking me back to Frostbite Village. We will take a look at Sunken Ruins once again. And because we are nearing the end of the game, I'm basically obligated to keep going. Even though it's pain. I don't like going over time. Back to Lost Cities, teleport to Sunken Ruins. And we will check off each egg as we go through all of Sunken Ruins. To definitively say for certain... Whether it is bugged or not. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro, and spend, spend, spend. We begin here. All right. In sunken ruins, egg thirty-two can be found inside a locked chest after the first underwater segment. This is the first underwater segment. We go through, we turn around. Here is the chest. Egg 32 crossed off. The next egg is egg 33. At the top of a set of four thermal vents in the room of which there was a dark gem. We shall confirm that this one is indeed gone entirely. Cross it off. 
forever. And then probably go, oh look, the game doth bugged. We, just in case, like, draw distance. We come over here. There is nothing. Here is a chest. It is already opened. And there is nothing over here. The egg has been attained. The next egg is Complete Sparks' Challenge on Easy. We already did that, but we will look at it once we get there. And the egg after that is Inside a Locked Chest Near Some Laser Shooting Fish Statues. So we'll just go by everything. Go by you. There's not an egg in this room. It was a light gem. Go ahead, Spyro. Over here is Sparks' challenge. Just to confirm. I already got everything. Can't we just get on with our mission? It is already done. And to doubly confirm, the pipe vents up here. The ones we most recently did, which got us to five out of six eggs. It was said to be at the top. There is none over here. And if we fly over to the left, You'll see that it is not over here either. So Sparks and the Hot Pipe Egg, both done. The next egg, oh yeah, the shooting, the shooting fish statues. I just skipped ahead to the pipe one because Technically, it's an egg that they don't expect you to get until far later, so it's not marked as chronological. It's like chronological of how you would get it as you were playing the game. But here's the fish statue egg chest. It is cracked open. Just to be absolutely certain, there are no other chests. Ah, uh, darn it. I'm going to have to redo that again. Damn you. Game. Those things never hit until they're just most annoying. Yep, there's just no other egg chest. Anywhere nearby. Except for the one that is already opened. Which leaves... In a lock chest in the same area as Dark Gym 19. Which is one that we have most definitely already looked at. But we have to do so again. By coming over here. Because I know we already checked this one, but this is basically to put it all in a single run. Because the map says that it is this chest 
that is already open. And to make doubly sure, I shall go look at Sunken Ruins. Yep, it says it should be right here. So it is just completely borked. And, uh, well, actually, let's see. Yeah, but it's saying that it is still missing an egg. So we will not be able to 100% the game, apparently. So all of this was meaningless. Because... Six, eight, six, seven, five out of six, seven, seven, six, seven, two, five, 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 one of three. What color is on the map that we don't have? We don't know because there's three. The three eggs that we are missing are one blue and one kind of gr ugly green. On the map, it says that... The ugly green should be sparks, apparently. Well, let's see. What else? Because there's the green green, which is character viewer. And the map seems to indicate that 35 and 36 should be the green green. Well, actually, wait. Uh, there we go. Yep. Those should be the green green. So maybe I can go and, like, try to replay the sparks mission? And see if it activates, but we already got, like, we literally have all of the light gems. Like, if we go here, we're missing four light gems. Of which we're missing four light gems. So, maybe if we go through and beat Sparks on easy, the game might give it to us. Maybe not. If I wasn't playing right now, I would, like, Google search Sunken Ruins Sparks Egg Glitch. And it's hilarious because the Sparks Egg mission in this Sunken Ruins is the, the bad one. It was the hard mission that was actually good. Or at least not as bad. Yeah, but if this doesn't fix it, might as well just run directly to the end. Unless maybe if I, like, get all the other ones, it might break back again. I don't know. Because the funny thing is, like, it couldn't have been, like, a glitch that this one just didn't fully work because we got the light gem from the hard mode. But who knows? <laughs> it's just the sad thing is that it's my least favorite Sparks mission too, I think. Game- fuck! <laughs> uh, that's so mentally just brain dead. Just horrible, horrible design. What is it with this game and lacking invincibility? Gotta go through here. It did say, hey, if you beat a certain time, maybe I'll get rewarded. Or something weird. It, it, it did say that. Or maybe that was just my best time. Like, I don't know. Damn it, game. 
How did I get a time of like, or was it 132 that it was asking for? Well, 132 did not get beat. Hmm. Let me see. Survive to the end of the tunnel and you will be rewarded. And we did. But I just didn't beat the best time. Because... We already beat it. I guess we quit minigame, because we already beat it. I guess I shall look it up. Let's see. I am back, says YouTube chat. Right now, we're just wondering about issues. Because there is a definitive egg that is just not existing right now. But it doesn't seem like a... Hmm. hmm. Apparently somebody else... Apparently the Hero's Tale has save issues, and the only way is to restart, apparently. Oh, well. Doesn't seem to be, like, widely documented. But I guess the best I could do is try to get as many of the other things that I can. To say that I did. Of course, like the one glitch I run into. <laughs> Blargity blarg. And on my birthday, too. Hmm. Maybe there's a cheat code for 100% if there is, like, a hidden ending. Because I'm not sure if there is a hidden ending. In fact, let me quickly look that up. Let's see. But the best. Apparently there's two endings. So, hmm. I miss money, you know. Do something. Hmm. There's like a secret code you can input. But I guess after we get like all of the, like, actual things, we can, like, try to input it. 
currency. Like, after we get everything else legitimately. I can input the code. That's a little bullshit. Actually, I can just use you to teleport out of here. Back to the main room. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro. So yeah, like we'll do... We will do all of the... Like... Eggs that we can, all the gems that we can. And then... Well, first things first, let's get some fodder. And then we'll input the 100% code if there is one. Because I more than well earned it. It's not my fault the game just decided to die. Hmm. Twitch chat confirms there should be a code. Then we will get... All of the light gems and all of the eggs that are left, and then we'll input it, because we can. Although it'd be interesting to maybe see the other ending, unless the other ending is just the same ending but with less. That's always possible. What are you playing this game on? The PlayStation 2. That's a little weird. Double odd. How the hell do I get up there? I need to go this way. puzzle, but it looks like we might loop back around, but then again, that kind of looks like the way we need to... I am confused. Because we step on this. I am very confused by the purpose of this button. I'm confused by this room in general. I'm getting annoyed again. There doesn't seem to be anything to do here. Gum? Gum. All there is is a button that doesn't do anything. What the fuck is wrong? I hate. Like, maybe if I stay on it a long time, I am confused. This is dumb. I hate it. This isn't even game design. This is just you being a twiddly little bitch. Like, hee 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 hee, the player will never understand. Exactly. Moron, the player will never understand. The fuck is wrong with you? Genuinely. Your design is terrible. Go home. Never design again. We'll go to the next one then. Like, genuinely. The fuck are you supposed to do in that room? There's a button that doesn't do anything. That's it. I sure do love enemies that instantly attack you and don't allow you a chance to hit back first. Fuck off, game. 
double fuck off. Just immensely getting annoyed by your bullshit. All right, thank you, game, for allowing me to actually do the thing. The bubbling noise is very annoying. I wish it would stop. Let's see what this does. Is it permanent or is it timed? Seems to be permanent, but sometimes they just don't have a timer, so who knows. Alright, so yeah, just missing two eggs, it says. And who are you, Mario? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. That's what you all say. Like literally. The first guy was useful. All of you are just saying the same exact thing. Is there anything else in this room that's actually useful? Uh, there is a dark gem I need to destroy. I hate that the- why are these enemies respawning? <laughs> 3k for Reshram has been hit. Pain. You have my sympathies. This is precisely why I don't shiny hunt. What the- Fuck off of the moving lasers game. Also, fuck off of the respawning enemies! Fuck off with your bullshit! I am not in the mood. Again, why does it just not wait just a little bit? Why, uh... Game. 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 Is a platform. Meant to be stood on. Have it stop so players can get on it, you stupid designers. I hate you. Again, why can't it just be like... Activated by the player stepping on it. God damn you. This is inane. Alright, but there's a stupid slow moving green laser. For some reason. Ah, the lasers themselves move slightly. But only some of them. They kind of have the same issue as the orange guys, ever so slightly, whereas sometimes the depth perception looks a little weird. Hey, this is the difficulty spike. Difficulty actually implies, you know, design. It's not difficulty if it's because it's badly designed. <laughs> Apparently, I need to go down there, I guess. And then come all the way back up because it's time. Oh boy! My favorite thing! I probably should have looked at, like, where the entrance beginning is. I hate you. I already hate this. I hate it. It's just made by a stupid- eh, difficulty means basically impossible person who should just not exist. I hate.
Not to mention, the beginning of the gauntlet should be at the button. Oh, come on, game. Doesn't help that those fucking things interfere with the camera. What the f Gay! Why does it just seem to change up the mechanics of the goddamn poles? I hate it! We're gonna overcomplicate everything and make it not fun. We're gonna make you glide this one time. Also, the smashers getting in the way of the camera. Utterly annoying. Oh, what the- I hate that. That is stupid. That is dumb. That is dumb that that one singular one doesn't keep you on the path. It just throws you into normal gliding. That's stupid. What the hell? Why did you guys, I, like, did you respawn, or did you never exist? And it does have, like, the wine of a gym, but I don't think it exists unless it's up. Of which, how is it up? How does... Oh, I think I might see some things. Because these are supposed to be grippable. At least it makes a sound. All right, 98. Let me check the map. Yeah, that should be everything for that room. All right, let's see if we can figure out the dumbass room with the stupid button. Because I didn't see anything that made sense in there. But maybe some time away will make it make sense. <laughs> I'm having to resist the urge to play more Monster Hunter. <laughs> to just get, uh, just to get more res resets in. Says YouTube chat on there, resetting for shiny Reshiram. <laughs> Jokes aside, uh, but I, just sitting here, pressing the buttons, watching the counter go up, and no shiny on screen is mentally draining. I can only imagine. Yeah, because it's just... This random button, which turns off the green laser, but only a little bit. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it at all, and it doesn't seem to do anything else. But maybe there's like a... Alright, I see it now. They should have actually... They throw way too many different poles, because those don't look like they should be grabbable. They look like they'd be dangerous. Fuck your cunt. Game. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you off. Let's just stop. Stop being a bastard. Again, because enemies just preempt you. I am not... Again, what's with the stupid button, then? Why does it just turn off the green lights? Makes no sense. Why does it just turn off the green lights? What is its purpose? What is the purpose at all?
the platforming also could do like with a major just like tilt the camera down a little so I can see where I'm goddamn landing you pieces of shit it feels like there's a lot of just blind jumping because of that I fucking hate you Again, just point the camera fucking down a little bit so I can fucking see where I'm going. God damn it. It's just so brain dead sometimes, the decisions they made. Because, like, on very long jumps like this, it would be nice to be able to fucking know where I'm going to fucking land. And you just don't do that for some reason. I fucking hate all of you, you st And then the fucking platforms decide to wiggly-woo all over the place. Like, it isn't even a great shiny, I just want for sentimental reasons. That can be a mood. Like, there's a... YouTuber, streamer, Tom Fox, who's doing a lot of resets to get, like, the most decorated... Quagsire. By getting a shiny Shadow Quagsire. That he then carries over. Again with the lack of invincibility because of hit. Like, why is even double jump here? It doesn't add anything. Double jump doesn't add anything except mildly make it's like, oh no, our platforming's shit. Let's add double jumping so that players won't know. That's what it feels like. I think that's all the dark gems. Let's take a look at the map. There should be... In this next room, should be an egg and a shard. Or light gem. Apparently you're not alone for hating Enter the Dragonfly. I looked up and apparently it's decently disliked. It's because it was Christmas rushed and just lacks everything. They were told to basically make... ...the same Spyro game again. And they did it poorly because of time constraints. These guys have multiple hits. Fuck you. I hate that, like, oh, you beat one enemy, we're gonna spawn another one. Fuck you! No. You don't f fucking mean that I need that one button in that one room, do you? You're not saying that I have game, you better fucking not. Genuinely, you better fucking not, you brain dead assholes. Who do who we design good? No, you don't. It is only a miracle that you have failed to fuck up by now. I hate these poles! Just have it be a thing! Jump! Oh, you jumped next to one? Latch on to next! And apparently, the, why why aren't those activated? What the fuck game? I want the yeah yeah yeah. Then again, it's the eggs that are broken anyway. I have a hundred light gems, so maybe I should just not give a fuck. Because it is the egg that is being a weird wonky bitch. These platforms are not activated, though it looked like they spazzed out there for a moment. Because the problem is, they're trying to do too much for no real reason. That is what they're doing. They're doing too much for no real reason or benefit. Like, let's see. There's a roof to it. 
Well, maybe I can do something if I jump to it from here, maybe. God damn it, that's me. That was my fault. The problem is it feels like they're overthinking Spyro. We have to do this. No, you don't, you dipshit. You just need to make a game. It's all you need to fucking do. And it wouldn't let me jump there because these games are assholes. You put collision on a thing and you're like, oh, we don't want you to jump there. Screw your asshole. You're the ones who are making weird, complex bullshit that make no sense. Damn it, almost. I don't even know what the game wants from me. Because it's like, oh, you're like, how do I activate those? The game's not presenting anything. Nothing seems to be anywhere at all to activate anything. I can't get in there. It's just like nothing is anything. Why even, game? Why even? Like a part of me wonders if I wasn't even supposed to make it around here of that jump. Did the game want me to do that? I don't know. I can't even take the normal path because the platforms aren't activating. And it's definitely not a place they want me to jump from. So, yeah, just bugged, I guess. Just makes no sense. None of it. Well, considering everything else was broken, we'll get back to the... the money bags. Like, maybe it has something to do with that button, but there's nothing to, like, push around, it looks like. Unless the game is like, hey, freeze this guy, then push him with water, maybe? Nope, can't do that. And there doesn't seem to be anything physics-based to push onto the Switch. So I'm just going to assume that game is broke. Because it's making no sense. We'll heal, we'll save, and then I'll look up how to do the 100% bibbity ba. Because we should have gotten 100% by now, because 40 out of 40, 100 out of 100, we're just missing two eggs that the game refused to give to us. So we shall save game, I guess over here for funsies. And now we shall look up. How the code goes. Yep, because there is an alternate ending by collecting all the dark gems, light gems, and dragon eggs, which I would have gotten if it weren't for the fucking butterfly. Maybe the real hero's tale was the friends we made along the way. Maybe. All right, quickly move this over here. Because uh, we have to go to the main menu. Wait, wrong button. Have to go to extras. Then press up, down, left, right... Square, square, L2, R2. I heard a click. Let's see, play a minigame. Uh, Spyro, Sergeant Bird, Sparks. So yep, that did indeed activate it. And I feel no remorse. I gave the game a fair shot. The game's the one that broke.
which it should have activated. Unless, like, uh, there was, like, an ending cutscene thing activated in the extras, but I don't think so. And eh, there's a me problem. Alright, now we have to click that, which should open up the way to the final boss. Yeah, we'll have to see. I guess we should probably... The presumed final boss. So which Spyro game is going to be after this one? Legend of Spyro... Uh, I think, uh, New Dawn? No, uh... New Beginning, I think it's called. Uh, you get the option to see the, the alternate ending. We are going the right way. We are. Because I played fair and square until things just bugged out, it seems. Come on, shoot your stupid thing, asshole. Okay. What is with this game and having just terrible timing of shit? <laughs> it's, it's down for like a single second if that hurts, pain, misery. Legend of Spyro, Breath of the Wild. An open world Spyro game could be cool depending on the mechanics put into it. Is the professor evil? Oh, is that what's happening? That kind of makes sense where all these guys are coming from. I seem to have made things a lot worse. Hey, don't worry. I'll have you out of here as soon as I can. Pal Kerosene. So, Spyro, have you returned to fight me again? And do you think I'm I mean, I did beat you last time. This time? Yeah, whatever. You're not so much of a challenge. I'm sure I can do it again. It was very painful to do last time. LOL. And now he's a mecha. What? That makes no sense. But it's also kind of hilarious. And you just made it worse, literally. Uh-huh. No idea what to do. Was I supposed to... Oh boy, more falling things. My favorite. Um... So if I get underneath the lasers... This is going on for a long time. Oh, but, uh. All right. Not terrible. Surprising and random that he randomly becomes normal again to be shot by missiles, but uh, so far better. So far better than his normal fight already. I accept that. In fact, that might... Oh, wait, no. Could that, in fact, be phase one already? Or are we, like, one hit point off from phase one? That laser beam pu apart took a long time. Never mind, this but what the fuck? These bombs. Oh, that's fucking stupid. I can destroy them, but Jesus. The lack of fucking. <laughs> Goddamn. Invincibility frames is painful. 
And I don't have my healing pot. God damn it. Hey, the fight's going better than the last time. How the hell is this the final boss so far? Aside from the bombs. Ah, shit. I've never even ran into these bomb things before. Pain, pain, pain. Like, I don't know, will we get more health bar? Are we on to phase... Uh, we haven't had a monologue at us yet, so I don't know. Oh, Jesus! All right, that's kind of cool. What will be next? Oh, fuck! That's bullshit! Damn it. What? 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 What even? Game? D d why don't you... Uh, God, fuck off. I'm not in the mood for your obtuse bullshit game. I hit the button, and it didn't do anything. Spawns a bunch of enemies that are instant lock and hard to dodge. My fucking favorite. That should have just killed him. Instantly. Also, why is this boss more telegraphed than the last one? With the instant lasers and bullshit. I hate that they're instant lock. Oh, is it because I'm so... What the... Oh, it's a- they they hit him. That was not telegraphed at all. That- that- that was not telegraphed in any capacity. I had no idea what was going on for that. You, you, like, you spawn a bunch of enemies, I have no idea where the button is. And then I see the button, I press the button, nothing happened. It's because I need to keep the enemies alive so they can shoot him instead. But they have instant lock on me and I can't really block them or do anything. I wish there was like a sign of like where the button was. There we go, they're all alive and they can all shoot him. They won't kill him though. Maybe if I do it next time, he'll probably have an extra attack. Because I did damage to him with the lasers now. God, I hope there's checkpoints in this fight. But again, I am baffled that this is more well designed than the previous red fight. Like, genuinely. Everything is more telegraphed. Everything is more reactable. So far, the only annoying thing is the bombs, and that's because of the lack of invincibility frames. Alright. Damn it. Double damn it. Sparks didn't leave me when he should have to tell me... I have to do it all in one go. This is brain damaged. Genuinely. This is just long and tedious now. If it had normal boss checkpoints, it would actually be good, but you're just fucking dumb, you stupid game. Just, no, don't design good things. Good things are bad, apparently. And of course you fucking hit me, you cunt.
when I don't have my goddamn healing pot. And there's no way to skip cutscenes, so I don't want to rewind and try again. Ah, just annoying. This is just annoying. Again, why is it this the only one that doesn't have, like, a normal reset point like all the others? With an obnoxiously long laser bullshit. God, that almost got me. And I have to do this quick, because I think he'll reset. There we go. Maybe that'll do enough damage to go right into the laser mook section. If he does, like, a uh, rocket chest, we're on to slam the button, which takes forever. Because the enemies instant lock on to you, which is fucking stupid. Nope, we still have to do the electricity pylons. And it's only gonna be for, like, one tick of damage. I don't like that this is, like, breaking convention from, like, the other fights. Unless this is just obnoxiously long. And then he's like, oh, I have two more phases, which would just be goddamn stupid. Because the fact is just that it takes so long. And that's it. That is the main thing that's just grinding about this. Fuck off! I am not in the mood for your bullshit! And I have to run so fucking far, it is on a timer. So it's RNG. And these guys do tickle damage to him, so I have to do this like five billion times. Even if I keep them all alive. I hate. This is just obnoxious. There's just like nothing in this boss fight. Nothing. Except grinding monotony. have to be careful of that lingering rocket. And now I need to pray that I'm nearby. Fuck off! You're not even gonna do enough damage to kill him in one go, you cunt of a game. Because these guys shoot so fucking slow, it's guaranteed to be a 3-1, and these guys, like, they hone in on me. So I'm basically gonna have to do this again, because I got hit by those one goddamn motherfuckers, my favorite, yay. Because you can't fucking dodge them, really. Dodging the projectiles from the little minions is just obnoxious. Because if I land this, I might win. Or maybe it just unlocks phase two, of which I have no health to. But hey, we'll, we'll reset from there. Okay, spawn next to the button, please. For the love of God. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, why'd you figure eight? Spyro did the figure eight thing again for no reason. <sighs> I've never experienced that in any other goddamn game. It's just like, hey, hey, I'm going to speak in a circle now. It's just obnoxious and slow. Like, come the fuck on.
And the laser is so slow. Why is the laser so fucking slow? So slow to deal with. Get on with it. 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 Why are you so long? At least this is a one turn, but Jesus Christ, that attack lasts way too fucking long. My patience is worn slim by your glitch that ruined my progress. By your jank boss fight that just refuses to take damage sometimes with that little electricity thing. So, oh, you have to do two instead of one for no reason. For the chicken scratch damage your snipers do to you when they're a huge hindrance to me. Why does laser only show once? Because well, this guy has like technically phases. Even though it doesn't feel like phases, he technically has phases. So like we went to the rocket phase is the first one and his special attack is uh, like uh, the laser eyes. And now we're in the second phase where his special attack is ro uh, like jet boots where we need to use the electricity breath to blast him with electricity pylons. And then the final phase is Rocket Chest, where we need to press the button to have his minions turn on him. And it's just monotonous, because any other boss fight, those would be checkpoints. Because, oh, for random reasons, we don't get checkpoints. We just get suffering. At least I made it all this way with full health, but still, I am in immense... Oh, never mind, I forgot. The... the the damage ticks is weird, where we can do the rockets in one go, but it's impossible to do the pylons in one go. Oh, what the fuck? You! Game! Give me time to actually damage him! What the fuck is wrong with you? That's never happened before. I was going at the same pace as all the other times. The people who made this boss fight never design a game again. Okay, never mind. It's just a weird thing where it didn't even play the damage animation. And that's so fucking stupid. It didn't even play the damage animation. Of the guy. But it went on to the next phase. It just felt terrible. Feels terrible that it did that. The feedback on this boss fight is terrible. The flow of this boss fight is terrible. Like, if it just had checkpoints, or like, it literally was one turn per each of these things, it would be fine, but they just had to overdo it. Overcomplicate it. I was like, oh, you have to, like, you can do the rockets in one go. You have to do the pylons in two. You have to do the traitor section in three. It's just insipid. Lazy, boring design. There is no difficulty here. Only monotony. It does not win by challenging the player, but by just drowning the player in tedium. That is not difficulty. This is tedium. I have shown that I can do this thing again and again. And you have deigned it not enough. Because you are an asshole game. Again, it would be nice if I could tell where the fuck I am landing. And I'm going to miss out on damage ticks because of that. I might have earned a fourth go around, but at least I'm at full health. At least I'm at full goddamn health. And the thing is, this could have been a cool boss fight, but they just overcomplicated it. Nasty Nork was simple, so even if I died, it was like, oh, I know what to do. And it was quick to get back to where we went. Ursula boss. Oh, I know what to do. Quick, get back to where we, where we died. It's still probably better than the first red fight. It just has its own unique, horrible design decisions. It actually telegraphs its attacks. But actually damaging him is painful. 
Again, I would like to be able to tell where I am shooting my shit. Please be one technical life. Be one life bar. Be one life bar. Be one life bar for the love of God. Phase two, because you're a cunt. The professor was not this dumb in the second game. Or maybe, are you shrinking him? Okay. Hilarious. I, for a moment, I thought he was going to be bigger for a second boss fight. Yeah, <laughs> we'll torture him. I'm sure I'm Not the jaw. Oratory. The professor has evil little things, evil designs for that little man. But Jesus Christ, this game could have been so much better if they just didn't overcomplicate it, and also if there wasn't a glitch that broke progress. It's still better than. Like, no, it's, just the credits. I believe the game is over. it's still better than uh, Enter the Dragonfly. Still, still so much better. Aren't you dead yet? What? Good idea. Make mine and it's hilarious that, like, and that was it. Which is just nothing burger. Which is kind of sad. Like, I don't know. It could have been anything, but just a nothing burger Johnny Haha. -ha. But apparently that was the secret ending. Honestly, not worth the backtracking. The original just cuts to credits. It's kind of sad. We didn't touch base with anybody. Just kind of disappointing, story-wise. Because, like, the 100% the, the special endings should touch on the characters throughout the story. Like, we should have touched base with, like, Hunter and mm, the Sergeant Bird, maybe, and Blink. Maybe bring back Flame and Ember for the ending as well. Because, like, the other games kind of did that. This is more in line with Spyro 1's extra ending. Which made a bit more sense because it was much easier to 100% Spyro 1. And it was just a, an extra little diddly-d. Then the hidden endings of, like, or, like, extra endings of 2 and 3, I think, are a bit more. It's been a bit since I played them. Final opinions on this game and rating? Honestly, hard to rate because it has really good moments and really cool ideas. And then individual moments that are just really bad. And of course the glitch, which is insipid. Granted, there's a code to unlock 100% anyway. Like I said, definitely better than Enter the Dragonfly. Infinitely better than Enter the Dragonfly. Because at least it feels like a full game. At least it feels like a full game with decent levels. The level design overall is good. It's just that they got a little bit more overzealous with hiding like the eggs and the, the gems. The humor was kind of hit or miss because it was a bit too much meta video game humor at times, which kind of lessened it. It's like, I, the mini games overall are decent, but they're very dependent on, like, which level it is. Because there are Sergeant Bird levels, Sparks levels, Hunter levels. Well, actually, I think Hunter only had, like, two levels. But there are, like, uh, Sergeant Bird levels, Sparks levels, Blink levels, and turret sections that are really, really good. And then there are ones that are kind of bad because of their individual 
like design flaws. There isn't like an inherent flaw with those mini games, just the design. Which same thing with the placement of some jumps and everything. I will say that like both of Red's boss fights are bad for different reasons. The first Red fight has no telegraphing on so many attacks that it's just ridiculous. And the second boss fight is just tedious. Just completely tedious and slow. The problem is that it's a lot of, like, I'm, I'm gonna say it. Nasty Nork's boss fight from the first Spyro game is a better boss fight than both the red boss fights. Because the problem with the first red boss fight is, again, the telegraphing of attacks. There's just hardly any. So you're going to get hit by random attacks no matter what you do. Doing a no-hit run of this game would be a nightmare. I would rather no-hit Megalovania versus the Megalovania. You know what I'm talking about. But, like, at least the fight against Nasty Nork in the first Spyro game put through the, like, information and stuff that you've done throughout the game. These boss fights are too typical boss fight e and aren't just just aren't really good they're basic but they're too boss fighty they're too we're gonna be bowser from mario 64 but slightly different like you could probably cut down a lot of the boss fights because like again like they're just pattern dodge attack the weak point which could be good, but they have to be really simple. Because the moment they get quote-unquote difficult, they're just annoying. Because of how difficulty is done with that kind of thing. Like, either you increase the speed, increase the amount of attacks, increase how long... It's like... Yeah, it's just, it's just like a lot of things. Just a lot of blah. Just a lot of blah. The music was good. The graphics are pretty good. The collectibles work fine. I don't mind that they're reusing dragon eggs as a collectible. The, the light gems are meh because there isn't really anything about them. They really should have expanded more on the dark gems. Like, there should have been more story. There should have been more stories like, what is the dark gems? What are the light gems? Don't turn it into a stupid meta game joke. Like, it is possible that, I don't know, because this game doesn't feel Christmas Rush. It doesn't feel crunched nowhere near as crunched as Enter, uh, Enter the Dragonfly, at least. But there is a, it's very basic, and they overcomplicated the basicness. This should have been a return to form with new cool ideas, and it should have just been basic. It should have been Spyro 1 level difficulty exploring new cool ideas. But they overcomplicated it. They overcomplicated the bosses. They overcomplicated the minigames. They overcomplicated some of the puzzles. And that's the killing blow to this. They just didn't know when to stop when it came to the difficulty. They should have just kept things simple. But I don't know. And no idea why we, uh, we unluckily ran into apparently a rare-ish glitch where it doesn't didn't like recognize us picking up the egg and then one egg and then like I have no idea what that last section of Red's laboratory was about with the like platforms because it looked like they flipped a little bit like spazzed out in the corner of my eye and then they just stopped so I don't know if it was like glitched or if I needed to do something and it wasn't telegraphing properly. The latter parts of Red's laboratory didn't telegraph what to do well. <laughs> so that means we're on to the Legend of Spyro trilogy now? Yes, indeed. Because if I remember correctly, in fact, let me look up when the uh, Legend of Spyro began. Because this game came out... When, we'll also look up when this game came out. I think like 20, 2004. Because Enter the Dragonfly was 2002. This was 2004. And then Legend of Spyro A New Beginning came out in 2006. 
Although I like to refer to it as the Elijah Wood trilogy. And honestly, it's prob like I know a lot of people probably gave Legend of Spyro shit because they're like, oh, it's kind it's kind of edgy and dark-ish. I think some people claim. I forget the story, so I'm not sure how edgy and dark it could be. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe it's just edgy and dark compared to these games, where it's just super fluff and not at all super serious. Uh, I can also see it potentially getting flack from fans because it is a complete change of pace, where these are platformer collectathons. Legend of Spyro, I think, is like a platformer beat em up, which I think is cool. And honestly, I think is a needed change. Maybe not specifically to like beat em up, but it's obvious that Spyro was never going to recapture the sheer quality of Insomniac. Granted, it could also be that, like, Probably the reason Insomniac had such good luck with Spyro was because there was no expectations for Spyro 1. So when they made Spyro 1, it was nice, simple, quick, and they made a bunch of assets and stuff and programming. And then it popped off, and people were like, oh my god, Dragon Collectathon platformer, and Universal said, make another one. And they had the code, they had the assets that they could then build off of, and that's why Spyro 2 was good. And again, popped off, and the Universal said, make more! And again, they had the code, they had the graphics to build off of even more, so they didn't have to remake everything. And then after the third game, Insomniac won it out, and so they had to leave Spyro at the door with Universal. Universal then dragged in other studios and said, do what Insomniac did, but they're on different consoles, in different engines. They have to make the graphics from scratch. They have to make the animations from scratch, basically. They have to make new models. They have to code everything again. They have to make new stuff on top of that. And then they got crunched to hell by Universal. And that's why Enter the Dragonfly failed. It looks like they gave this team more time, maybe? Maybe? It came out only two years after Enter the Dragonfly, I believe. So, who knows? Maybe there was... L a part of the reason why Enter the Dragonfly failed a lot is because they tried to do things, and then Universal said, no, don't do that, do this instead. Make Spyro 4, basically. So, it's possible that there was less executive meddling in A Hero's Tale. So... They were able to put more work in to A Hero's Tale and have less of it just outright cut so they were able to build more and do more. So that's probably it. Because it still has a lot of cool ideas, this game. It's still fucking weird that they de-Britishified money bags for no reason. And it also feels like the gyms were kind of meaningless. Because money bags in the original games was, hey, give me gems, I do a thing for progress. Here, it's give him gems and you can unlock chests. You can do minor upgrades. It just feels like it's tacked on. It almost feels like you could remove money bags and then remove gems entirely. And I think that's kind of the shame where. They couldn't make gems a collectible in this game because it's a resource and you need to, like, buy these things a lot. And again, it also feels like the grenades were a half-baked thought because they're not really incentivized except in niche situations, which is more just like, this enemy is annoying, I'm going to snipe him instead of actually fight him. And again, the enemies preempt you a lot where they attack first, so you have to, like, play mind games with the enemy every single time, and that's kind of bothersome. <laughs> they gave Legend of Spyro the Shadow of the Hedgehog treatment? I don't think so. Shadow of the Hedgehog's a lot more edgy, especially because, like, ooh, will you be good? Or will you murder the president? Murder Eggman? Murder Sanic? Is like, that's pretty edgy. 
I'll have to see how edgy Legend of Spyro is. But my theory, as someone who, like, hardly remembers anything about Legend of Spyro, more than likely, it's just not as lighthearted as these games. And that's probably it. But yeah. It's all... Da, da, da. I'm trying to think. Overall, the story is a typical Spyro story, I guess. Enemy exists for no reason. A few cutscenes of villain for no reason. Spyro fights is kind of snarky. The story isn't anything to write home about. I wish that there was a bit more focus on story. Like, I don't... Like, I don't know. A part of me kind of feels like it shouldn't have been open levels, but should have been, like, lin like a lot more linear than any other Spyro game. Because if you, like, cut down on the open-endedness, and instead focused on linear levels, maybe with branching paths that loop around on each other, and focus on, like, the collectibles, and gems are a currency you spend with money bags to get little things. I think it could have been a bit more concise, told a bit better of a story as a hook, because that would have been cool. Because I think that's part of the reason why Legend of Spyro interests me. The story is a high point for it. It is a marketing thing. The stories in all the other Spyro games, not really a marketing thing. They're just an inciting incident for you to then go collect gems and the MacGuffins of this era. But, like, I, again, I just feel like they should have gone in a different direction with Spyro faster. It doesn't help that Spyro uh, Enter the Dragonfly is just Spyro 3.5, but bad. And then this game is basically what Spyro 4 was meant to be, even from Enter the Dragonfly's, like, development once. They wanted to do a lot of things, like, oh, more open levels and stuff. Kind of like this. But yeah, it's like, there's a lot of cool things here. The hyena chick was cool. The ice princess was cool. No pun intended. There are weird... I also think that there are, like, weird one-off enemies that just didn't need to be there. Like, the ice giant guy. He's... There is one ice giant guy in this entire game. He goes down in one hit and nothing else. It's weird. The mammoth? He's not even a boss fight. He just steps on Spyro. Vores sparks. And then just disappears. And there were excuses probably like, oh, it's just Spyro the Dragon. Don't take this story so seriously. But it's just like, after four Spyro games, the story should have been a marketing point. It should have been more in-depth. But I guess to round out my thoughts, the basic gameplay is good. Some little annoyances like enemies being telepathic and like knowing if you're going to come to attack them so they attack you first their back swings hitting you the ball rolling mini game is just scuffed beyond belief because the controls are nice but the, the the obstacles are annoying sergeant bird for the most part is good but only on more linear levels cloud cloud city was terrible 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 horrible hate it the, the wing shield was only used once I hate it. I hate it all. Yeah, basically, they just needed to not overcomplicate it. But that's what they did. Personally, I would have cut a world. I would have cut a world, maybe. Maybe pseudo-combine a world. Like, uh... I don't know, just like... They should have downsized a little bit. Downsized just a little, wee little bit. And focused more on refining instead of just throw because again i think the major damnation of this game is the fact that it is it has infinite lives so the developers weren't tied to making any actual good like design decisions about balance because oh well the player has infinite lives they can just throw their souls at the wall which is just lazy, lazy design. The reason games like Dark Souls can get away with it is because there is still a gameplay loop to 
dying and getting back to where you died. There is still a gameplay loop there. There are still things to earn there. You can still get the experience points of the game, like souls, and like get back to where you were, and then you have even more souls to spend and level up with. It, it's kind of beneficial in a way. Sure, it still gets annoying if you're on a boss a lot, but usually that just means you need to try a different path. But who knows? Again, the fact that this game lacks lives means that they were less, like, I forget, with, I don't know what the word, they withheld, they didn't withhold a lot. They're like, oh, we can do anything because the player has infinite lives. And that's just bad. It's bad. I didn't like that. But overall, Sergeant Bird's mini games were fine more than most. Sparks's was good like 75% of the time. Blinks only got bad when they really started janking up the level design. Otherwise, f passable. The ball rolling minigame is just meh because of level design, and it's very sparsely used. It should have been like a cool hype moment, like, ooh, I'm in the ball, I get to go on a roller coaster and have fun. Uh, but instead, they just overly complicated it. And... The, like, turret sections are kind of cool. It feels like the professor's Jimbo Jambos are kind of random. Like, here's Invincibility, here's Supercharge, and then they're only used, like, three places each. <laughs> the locked-off sections are kind of meaningless because they're just extra sections without really much to them except maybe more annoyance. And again, the final boss is just weird... It separates itself from all the other boss fights because there's no saving in between phases because it's one long phase, basically, with just many phases in between. But again, they make it worse because they limit how much damage you can do each time, even if you perfect it. To the point that I did 99% of the Electro phase damage in one go... Which made me made it feel like when I activated the last one, it didn't even damage him, it felt like. In fact, I think I almost did all the damage to him in one go, and I went so fast on the Electro phase that the game is hard-coded to force you to do the, hard, the, the Electro phase twice, no matter what, because I don't think it damaged him at all that second go. And again, the platforming only became an issue when they really ramped it up and it necessitate it would have it basically needed like better landing shadow the camera needed to be tilted down a little bit and there needed to be a drop circle to let the player know where they were landing from the platforming and they just didn't do that probably again because oh we don't need to do that just slap zoe there so they have infinite lives to try this puzzle out with which is annoying Bleh. Fun fact, Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon is co-op multiplayer. Interesting. <laughs> At least I hope you had a good Halloween, Neon. <laughs> like, again, the good parts are really good. It's just the fact that they went out on a bad ending, and also that extra, like, ending, it wasn't worth it. Because, really, the Dragon Elders aren't... The Dragon Elders are hardly characters. Yeah. But yeah, overall, it feels just like they overcomplicated things that should have been simple. They overcomplicated the, the poles so that they were annoying to do. They overcomplicated, like, timed attacks against you in the later levels. They overcomplicated enemies that had, like, throwing ability. The wing shield is useless. Except for, like, maybe f two enemies. It's weird. But, yes. We are, will continue our Spyrothon with something completely different. Legend of Spyro, a new beginning. Because, honestly, Spyro needed a new beginning at this point in time.
And like honestly, I honestly I wouldn't mind if they re remastered slash remade the Legend of Spyro series instead of making a Spyro a new Spyro Four, because the thing is, I kind of fear that if there was a new Spyro Four taking after the Reignited trilogy, that they would repeat the mistakes of Enter the Dragonfly and Enter uh, and A Hero's Tale, and maybe even repeat the problems that uh, Crash Bandicoot It's About Time faced, where it's just like, difficulty, 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 pad, pad, pad. But yeah, even though I raged a lot and really questioned the minute designs a lot, this is still better than Enter the Dragonfly. Because Enter the Dragonfly was broken in a lot of places, it was janky, it was rushed and crunched to all hell. This at least felt like a video game. There were times where the design was borked to the high hell sometimes. But overall, it's good. Like, honestly, if somebody said, hey, you don't need to 100% the game, the, the alternate ending is nothing burger, I probably would have just skipped out on a lot, on a lot of things. Like, I don't know, it just, it feels bad to not 100% Spyro games, because the original trilogy is just that good. It makes you want to 100% them, even if the 100%, like, uh, rewards aren't super duper, they're just, like, such simple games to 100%, such fun games to 100%, that even if the w reward for it is meager, it's still worthwhile. With these, it just felt like an obligation both for them to make it a thing to do and for the player to do, which is sad. And I just look back around. But yeah, next time we will venture into The Legend of Spyro A New Beginning once again because they decide to go in a completely different direction, presumably after these two games both flopped and probably met with mm, like 60 to 70% score reviews overall. This is probably a middling game. Probably like a 7 out of 10, maybe. Maybe a 6 because of the final boss fight and the fact that it glitched on me. In such a subtle way, too. But we will begin next time with the Elijah Wood trilogy that apparently has like a bunch of cool voice actors, both like classical actors and renowned voice actors. As we leave behind the Dragonlands... And these colorful art styles and the Stuart Copeland-esque soundtracks. And instead, we will enter into the world of fantasy in The Legend of Spyro, where they tried new gameplay, a new take on Spyro, which honestly, considering how little character Spyro has had after the Spyro trilogy originally, the Insomniac trilogy, not much is lost by just rebooting Spyro, honestly. And consider, considering that the Legend of Spyro trilogy is actually a trilogy, the only other one besides Insomniacs, I think they maybe did something right. Mm. But I think that'll be it. Overall, A Hero's Tale, honestly, could have been great if they just adopted less is more. If they put less into this game, less difficulty, less overcomplication, could have could have matched the Insomniac Age. Because there's the makings of a great Spyro game here. They just fumbled the ball. But either way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree in my descriptions, bios, and link places. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcewings that has links to everything that I do like edited YouTube content, YouTube streaming, Twitch streaming, and then I upload all these VODs to the YouTube streaming for posterity and people to just watch in good quality afterwards. And then if you want other things from me, like my little character in the corner, you can find various arts that I have made across different websites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds, and the like, such as uh, this birthday art I doth made. Ba -ba -da, da -da -da. Have to crunch it down. This birthday art I made for my birthday, because why not? I made. <laughs> really, I was making this party hat, and for the V of the PNG tuber, 
And then I thought, oh, why don't I actually make like a full thing? <laughs> and so I did. But yeah, art that I post to various websites all in my link tree. And then if you want stories that I write, I also have, well, stories that I write. And the links to them can be found in my link tree as well. And finally, I have a Patreon in which if people feel affluent and kind, they can throw me dollary dues to help me through the evils of the world. Mm, but yes, but yes, next time we will go on to a new beginning with Legend of Spyro and see what it has to offer. Once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. And also, stay hydrated. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Hope for the dragon model. Maybe it'll potentially, it could potentially be a, an amount of work. So, but it could be, I could at least maybe make a, a normal talking one. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. But yes, again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.